right. Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? What up, what up, what up, what up? Okay, let's check things out. Whoa, I'm level 97. Damn. Okay, they have raised the level cap, and apparently all the XP we've ever earned is now coming back to uh, whack us. Skull Admiral, Fleet Admiral, Admiral Admiral, Commander, Galactic Commander. I guess I have my title now officially. I am now officially a Galactic Commander. What up, everybody? So, yeah, I've spent way too much time playing this game. All right, Galactic Commander Robot is live, all right? I know there are the Helldiver streamers that are live or doing the show right now, but guess what? We're cooler than all of them because we've got the best community right here. All right, what up, what up? Mandy, go ahead and lurk. Reminder, all personnel must submit I see Neesk doing his thing. What up, Neesk? Freaking love that man. All right, let's get going. <laughs> okay, just for you, I'll personally call you a coward. Enjoy your work day. Okay, uh, we will review the war situation shortly, and we'll also be conducting a lot of weapon testing today, because we, uh, the only people who will be able to join me are those who already know me, so make sure that, uh, you already know me, yeah? And, uh, we're gonna conduct some weapons tests. Ah, there's Nisk. I'm summon him in my stream room. What up, nerd? Yo. Yo. How's the boom arm going? Pretty good, man. Now I can move my chair. <laughs> All right. Okay. Tomas, no. Yeah, daylight savings happen, so don't worry too much about the timing. You're just in time, all right? What new new bug? If that was a new bug or what, defending the extraction you get on the pelican, that's dope. They buff Dominator Claps Devastators. Oh, yes, I can't wait to test that out. Dominator has a burst mode and multiple cheeks clapped. Ugh, I see. I'm going to stick with the semi-auto, but I'm very interested. There's been a lot of stealth changes at all so, uh, around, so I think that's going to be weird. But let's see how it goes. For Super Earth and for Democracy, not for that last one, Mosh Bear. Alright, don't you worry, guys. We'll be doing all sorts of weapons tests today. Oh, the blood on your armor when you get back on your ship. I see. Okay. The Dominator is pretty heavy as a weapon. But, you know, hopefully it'll be very, very good. Hang on, I gotta tweet everything. This new patch. Now, there's been a lot of changes, especially one of the big ones is to the Arc Thor, so we're more, we're most likely going to see um, some issues in regards to that. Uh, I actually will test it out, but... Mm. Now, I've already got the Dominator ready to go. Um, in terms of grenades, I'm just going to take high X. The Slugger did, unfortunately, you know, take a bit of a hit, but we'll see how that Hello, goes. I'm not... I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Ah, new subscriber notification. Welcome. Uh, I'm not actually going to test the... I'm not actually going to test the Slugger yet because I don't really like it anyway against the automatons, but Jar 5, definitely. Let me see now. Okay. Alright, 
let's go. Let's go mess around. Okay, first we're just going to drop into a level 5. Like I said, uh, only people who will be able to join me are those who are already part of my crew. And who know me. Oh, That's right, we don't need to be here. We need to go to Malevolent Creek. Why are there people still liberating Ubenea? I expressly told them to go to Malevolent Creek. You know what, whatever. <laughs> See these people? Disobedience to the Super Earth Elite. Or probably not part of Super Earth Elite forces anyway. Either, either that or under a different commander who doesn't know what the hell he's doing, so... Whatever. Okay. Retrieve essential personnel mission. Can I avoid testing that? Apparently I cannot. Okay, let's go test out how it feels then. FTL jump to the Malevolon Creek system. Let's see how this feels on a level 5 solo. FTL jump successful. Hellpods primed. Mission coordinates locked. I mean, explosive damage is generally better um, against bots anyway, so... Don't split the forces between Creek and Ubenea, Michael Carter. The order that I gave was expressly to go to the Creek. Why? Clear the Creek first. Don't split. Do one thing with all of our power. Splitting between the Creek and Ubenea is exactly what they want. Take the Creek first. That way, the reinforcements from the remnants of the Eleven Creek faction will help us on Ubenea, if there is time. The key thing first and foremost is take the damn creek. Get the people off the creek so that they can help elsewhere. I don't know either, Captain McSwagger. Okay, I'll try not to miss chats as I do this, but here we go. Okay... Let's go test out a few different things. First, the Ark Thor. I've heard some stuff about that. The guard dog has been changed as well. I hope so. I want to knock out that creek super fast for sure. Uh, EMS Mortar, that's fine. I suppose this will work. Okay, ready to go. Well, you know, they might be attacked on the last day. We've got no way of knowing for sure, but we'll counterattack whatever whatever they have. Scorcher is a good weapon. And of course there were no changes to that, so yeah. Well that's an estimate. Regardless of uh the fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let them fall. Deploying equipment package. Sounds good, BBS. Ooh, free EATs. I freaking love that. Anyway, let's also test stability. Okay, I gotta get 35 people to freedom. I guess I'll just stick around here. What's with the camera shake? Okay, that's that's weird. Um, camera shake is off. What? Double what? The settings haven't changed. Something's odd here. I'm not crazy, right? My camera just shook. No, I haven't seen them yet. Is that what's coming at us? I thought they were the gunships. Phew! Add at sounds a little easier to deal with. Yeah, okay. In first person, there's this weird camera shake here. Hmm. Arc Thor is nice. 
lower, the range was lowered drastically, but I think the increase in stagger force is quite powerful. It's quite a bit more powerful than I thought. The guard dog rover seems to be uh, working really well. Because previously, this rover deals uh, more damage than the beam one. So... And they reduced the bot spawns drastically, too, or so it seems. I don't know. So against the Hulk Bruiser, uh, we still have some issues, which is fine, I guess. Kind of expected it. Definitely does shred the, the Berserkers quite a bit. Okay, whoa. Darn. That was a wild one. I gotta admit, I do like the, uh, how the Dominator is doing. This Dominator is really dominating uh, right now. Look at that. Oh, Nisk, you're dropping into, uh, hell right now, buddy. Be wary. Yay! Misk is joining me. That's nice. I'm out. Requesting advanced Woo. I'm gonna go retrieve my equipment. Mission at ten minutes remaining. Ooh, damn that really? Could you throw me on the Hulk Bruiser, buddy? Oh wait, it's Ion Storm. Yeah, enjoy my enjoy my uh, rover. It's actually pretty good. The range will probably matter only in the furthest uh, furthest uh, situations. I'm gonna have to reshoot. I'm gonna have to reshoot the patch notes video. So I was kind of wrong about that. The range doesn't matter as much. The stagger is the powerful part. If anything, pair it with a shield and uh, you might actually do better. Uh, not in a mission like this, but you know. Okay, you can call me in. Throw me on the Hulk, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, he was good enough. Thanks. Thanks, mate. There we go. Join the fray. Damn. Damn. Calling in reinforcements. Oh, there's another home. Okay. Uh, just be careful where you're landing first. I'll try and uh, I'll try and distract them a little bit. Nice is there. So, oh. <laughs> Grenade right next to you. Yeah. You can't throw it back though, it causes crashes. Oh shh! Oh really? Yeah, the flamethrower also burns you instantly now, as you can see right there. Diligence counter sniper, um, the only issue that I had with it before 
was uh, not the medium pen on it, but it was the, the fact that the Diligence Counter Sniper basically seemed to have... Uh, the Diligence Counter Sniper was a decent enough weapon, but it lacked uh, it lacked ease of aim, so like you couldn't really aim it very well. And that was a big problem that I had with it personally. Well, I gotta admit, medium armor seems to be uh, protecting me pretty well. Oh, uh, the jar can Three. kill scout striders as well. Hmm. I got pretty far on this though, before before Nice came in, which is pretty nice. That's actually pretty solid. I'll just drop on that hull. That's uh, bothering you. There we go. Reporting to the front. We can recover. So scout striders, you have to hit them in the crotch, but they can be killed with this. Which, oh, come on! Damn! And here I thought they said, you know, this protect me a little more. The Dominator is pretty damn good, I gotta admit. Like, I mean, these these missions are still pretty swarmy. Uh, I was trying to solo it, and it actually got pretty far. So I gotta admit that that's pretty cool. Um, Joining the friend. Woo! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I don't know, I think I find it okay, especially with the explosive resist. The Dominator is pretty much the new slugger. The damage buff to it was pretty darn good. Um, these these types of missions are still pretty sweaty uh, overall, so that is a thing that we'd have to prepare accordingly for. And this was only on difficulty five, so we're still seeing a lot of bot drops. You get overwhelmed if you don't uh, throw in the people straight away. So although they're dropping the automatons a little bit outside of it. Uh, things are pretty still, uh, things are still pretty, you know, wild, so, uh, I would say that it would probably be best to have, like, a stun grenade, maybe, for this kind of thing. I might try that again, see if that'll, uh, work better. The counter sniper buff, the counter Ready sniper buff seems interesting, Helldiver. but yeah, without, well, heavy armor might actually be a thing, um... Anyway, we'll go in. We'll go in and try again. If it's doable on a five, at least you know, it should give Let us some insight on progress. how to do it at higher levels as well. Yes, indeed. Remember to like the stream, Mitch Ruffles, and anyone who has already been added, uh, who knows us, who's in the Discord, you guys are welcome to join in. Engaging orbital thrusters. How are you doing, Truffles? Orbit synchronized. By the way, this is for uh, Chanel. Uh, you don't have to worry if somebody says my name in chat. My name is literally public information because <laughs> I do music under my own name. So. Uh, the Dominator is actually pretty okay at switching targets. I really like it right now. I think it's a great weapon, honest to god. Um, okay. Let me try a little more. A little bit of that. This. I do like the rover, but I'll try the shield pack this time. I've got my stun grenades. And I think that if I really want to run this... Is there a s eagle smoke strike? Oh, there is one of these. Could probably I could probably run around using a lot of smoke. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try it this way. 
All right. Anti-material tested yet? Yeah, not yet, but we will. The new changes aren't as bad as they seem. I'm actually gonna have to reshoot my video, I think. But um, I think I think it is I think it is gonna be possible to do some interesting stuff. Oh damn, we lost Nisk. What? It said Allied destroyers left squadron. I was like, what? Might have disconnected. <laughs> Happens. Go now. It's okay. Fear the shadow of neither death nor tyranny, for justice is your cause. Sending down equipment package. Sending down sentry. My Tom Tons got their own version of bow tines. I'm looking forward to it, man. First, I want to see if this mission is doable at level 5, then I'll see the higher levels. Once I've gotten a good picture of stuff. Smoke and I like it. Yeah. Um, it kept track of how much we earned over our previous, so I'm already a galactic commander. Oh, damn. Sorry, lost the 25 requisition from that random civilian. <laughs> Damn. Reinforcing. Oh, great. It's okay, distract them as best you can. You got this, I believe in you. If it helps them all, I'm able to move between these two buttons pretty well. They're just getting slaughtered right here. Damn. <laughs> okay. I knew I kind of figured because they weren't going in. Which is understandable. I'm going to break everything in my room. No, 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 no. Don't break everything in your room. We're just testing the new stuff. I'm also not bringing the most efficient <sighs> things. I, love I that. only have expensive shit. Lol. Seem to be able to survive the explosives more, but the rest of the damage is still insane. Ooh, damn. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, now nah, this one's pretty rough. Hmm. Because we'll need a way to like kill them all quickly. Reporting to the That's the only downside. What a shame. Requesting sentry. Requesting air I'm gonna put some smoke down. Oh, yeah.
a Hulk. Ow. Nope, oh, got him, bitch. Oh dear. Ooh, ow. He ragdolled all over the place. Damn. If only I could lure the bots. Like, if I could lure the bots outside of the base, it'd be alright. But damn. They just keep coming. Hmm, I think the issue is mostly with the uh, spawns and the rate of the spawns. Okay. Uh, sorry, buddy, you won't have to suffer too much. Uh, I'll be getting us off this mission. Alright, yeah, you did alright, you did alright. Come on back. Hmm. As much as they I'm fixed driving. the bot drop, it's not soloable still. So quite, aboard, quite difficult the there. Destroyer has left yeah, try squadron. solo again. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying solo again. Relax. The enemy has launched I'm a doing that to test some weapons. Against one okay. of our planets. You better get in Will here. You defend it. All right. Um. Let's go see. Which one does not have that? No, oh, difficulty six doesn't actually have some of that. Interesting. Okay. Now that I've seen the solo, what's Seven like? Seven doesn't have that on some of the missions. Okay. Hmm. Well, taking out the Hulk's gun and he'll be a lesser threat, that's fine and dandy. This but the issue is, is no the fact that we don't even have a break to we take out the Hulk. Our attention. Okay. I'm going to swap it back to allowing members of the public in, which should work nicely. Niski, you coming? Hell no. <laughs> what? Are you seriously ditching me? Okay. Mission no, I'm ditching this game. Fuck this game. Okay. I wish. As you wish, you filthy nerd. Okay, let's go do a proper field test with Jar 5. I do like it, and I do like what it offers uh hmm. should i go amr or do a field test of the arc door first i think i'll do an arc door field test should be all right mm, since we can uh, avoid the uh patrol mission the retrieve essential personnel mission we should still be able to do everything else okay orbit synchronized What's the play for the new order? Uh, Malevolent Creek first. If we clear Malevolent Creek, we should be all right. That is the crucial key. If we can clear it up, you know, and we do our, and we do our jobs, uh, everything will Hell be fine. To the issue Hell is if we don't Hellpods. clear it up, then we're gonna experience some kind of problem. So yeah, we really do need to clear up uh, Malevolent Creek as best as we can. Okay, Eagle Air Strike. A little rail cannon. Arc Thor. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Kinnacle. Alright, alright. Let's try the original loadout that I had before. Orbit, with the only exception being that instead of stun grenades, we'll go with the high X. Just so that I can clear out the fabricators as well. Alright, let's go. 
Let's go see. Let's go see what the uh, arc thrower can do. The stagger power is all right. Half is half. Is that half a smack? Half a. S <laughs> the stagger power is all right, but I think the main danger is, uh, you know, getting swarmed because now you can't half charge it anymore. So getting out of that habit is going to be pretty crucial for me. Go now. As long as I can get out of that habit, I think it'll be fine. But I want to see how it will last without the shield. Then I'm going to test with the shield. Oh, we already got a bot drop. Lovely. Ain't that beautiful. Oh, damn. I can just kill a tank with a jar 5. Okay, that's pretty cool. Damn, this jar 5 really dominating. Wow, okay. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, the Arc Thor's range limitation is a big, big issue. Because I fight at very far ranges, so that's the big, I guess, problem for me. thing is slowly sliding toward me menacingly. I mean, sure, I can stagger the Hulk, but damn, did you see it sliding toward me menacingly? The new Jar 5 is... Phew, this is this is the best gun in the history of guns maybe ever now. The increased damage is insane. It does so much damage. Uh, it's worthy of being a support weapon, damn. And I'm digging the rover, you know. I think I might run this with an AMR instead uh, uh, next round. Has left the Lol, Kinnacle. Kinnacle the Spinnacle. Calling in reinforcements. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Okay. This thing genuinely just feels so powerful right now. Holy crap. I know, right? This guard dog is the best. Um, it seems to restore its ammo, so it's really, really good. Yeah, you can no longer 50% fire. You have to fully charge the Arctor, and the limited range feels terrible. It can stun Hulk, so it might be alright in the tank roll. But uh, I do have to be very realistic about this. It's not exactly the best thing ever. Okay, so... Okay, now... Engaging terminal. Hell bomb arms. Clear the area. Okay, let's go.
Yeah, getting used to the new uh, charge speed kind of sucks, but... Oh, man. Uh. they gave us free expendable anti-tanks uh, I'm charging it and releasing it on the dot which is probably the only thing that's making it seem fast firing I'm out. but other than that you know it's not too grand I would say that much Tagging location. We've got equipment. Cancel that. I would rather have an AMR if I'm very frank <laughs> But the stagger force of the Jar 5 is insane. I'm gonna lie on that. Like, you can't even compete with this thing. Like, this thing feels like I have an extra support weapon in my hands right now. It's so good. Like, the Arc Stagger is useful for sure, you know? But I don't feel that it'll be as good as, you know, people might think. Like, the Arc Thor right now, as fast firing as it might seem, feels like a genuine liability in my hands. Like, I feel completely out of my depth with it. It's decent, but not anywhere near where I want it to be, and for that reason, I'd rather have AMR, I think. I'm definitely going to be trying out the AMR after the buff, because if the, if the buff did this to the Jar 5, I can't wait to see what it's going to do to the AMR. It still misfires, yeah. The Arc Thor feels like ass now, it does. It's strong on stagger, but I'm going to tell you that right now it is so weak that... Your Jar 5 is going to outperform it in every way, shape, and form. Like, wielding the Jar 5 right now, I feel capable of... Oh. Somebody irritated the cannon turret. Like, really? Why would you do that? You absolute dumbasses. Oh, really? For oh, real? Requesting advanced weapons. Also, fun fact about the jar. I believe that if you shoot the... Jar, maybe I was wrong. I thought you could get the scout strider by shooting it in the crotch, but... I guess I was wrong on that. Oh, man. Really? Wow. Did he just blow me up? Why would you send an eagle right there? We can. What the hell? Yeah, so you can shoot it, but I couldn't do it in first person. Okay, interesting. Not exactly sure where the shot went, but I guess I have to shoot in third person. They really got to stop with the Iron Storm means we can't haul in anybody, buddy. Getting away from target seems hard now. Hey guys, be respectful to other viewers in the in the chat, all right? 
Don't make me come out there and slap somebody. The fire is nasty. I actually said it in my video already. I said, yo, the fire is going to be an insta-gib. Now literally none of us can get our stuff back and literally speak. Oh come on, that is ridiculous. Okay, five minutes till I can call in my equipment. Mm. The fire damage got buffed to insane heights. That's basically it. Arc could still be good against terminates. I don't really know yet. I haven't tested against terminates, and nobody should be testing on terminates. We gotta hold Creep first. Well, it needed some kind of nerf, but this, but the range nerf basically makes it useless. If they had nerfed the charge rate, fine, whatever, or nerfed the damage, okay. But nerfing the range, which is already short as hell, is pretty bad. So, um, I think that overall it was way overdone, but... We'll just have to deal with it. The range nerf is the dumbest nerf I've ever seen. Alright? And remember, I don't want to catch any bad behavior in chat, alright? Uh, next person to break that rule, instant slap. I don't care how you feel about things, be respectful to each other in chat. There are going to be people that disagree with each other, alright? Make sure and make sure nobody's uh, talking out of line. Super Earth Finest, don't talk like that. You can mark off 35 meters with a ping, but it's pretty damn near, which I don't like. 35 meters is very, very short. You can use your buddy to act as a lightning rod, but that is one of the worst strategies, Cody, because um, you stun your buddy, which you do not want to do. Stunning your buddy is bad. So, oh my god, damn. I'm also not seeing the extra value of, like, the armor protection. So, heavy armor might just have to be a thing now because, uh... Genuinely not seeing any extra protection values. The automatons also really seem to be calling in stuff real fast, which, uh, not very good. That makes things a lot harder than they should be. Jar 5 feels good. I have to admit that. But yeah, I'm not enjoying the overall changes. Um, Arcthor basically is mind-numbingly bad. Southwest, 100 meters. 
I feel that if I'm wearing heavy armor, it, sh it needs to protect me. I should be taking practically no damage from every shot, but that'll make things too easy, I suppose. I'm on the terminal. It seems almost like we'll be forced to stealth. Package acquired. Which is not exactly not exactly the finest way to play. I mean, it's okay, but I'm still not a huge fan of that kind of gameplay. Okay, I'll let them do the fighting first. I get through the trees and go around. <sighs> uh, matchmaking seems okay on mine, Stu, but yeah. No more rocket one-shots is huge, but the problem is no, it's not the rockets, it's all the other firepower they've got. So the heavy devastators will still beam you and the additional protection doesn't seem Dropping to do ahead. much. Northwest. Far. So yeah, I think that's a, still a big problem. They said we'd encounter less devastators. I'm seeing a lot less oh, rocket devastators at least. Uh, but more hulks and tanks. As well as the potential for the new walkers which I haven't really seen yet. So yeah, I haven't tested Liberator Penetrator. I'm not a fan of it, but I will give it a go after all this. I may as well test every single weapon. Um, it does say it does say it has a full auto mode, so we'll have to see on that. But yeah, for what I've tested thus far, the Jar Five feels really good. Um, the Arcthor feels like ass. I'm gonna test out the AMR with some stealth armor, most likely. Because if I can reduce presence detection, I'll probably be in a much better situation than I am right now. So, there is that. Yeah, that's completely fine, Track Hoodie. I understand. Northwest! Yep, I knew that would happen. Damn. Reload it. Now, as you can see, right, the drops are very, very fast. It's like almost instantaneous call-in. That's a shredder tank, ain't it? Requesting orbital strike. Calling in orbital strike. That's one down. Where's the other. Requesting air support. Attack on the left. Calling down some force weapon. North east. On my way. Engaging. I'll take it. Counter Diligence, I'm not testing that at all. I refuse to test that one because the Counter Sniper Diligence is ass. The last, well, okay, fine, I guess I should test it. But yeah, no, it's ass. The last time I even tried it, you can barely even aim with the damn thing. So, yeah. 
Um, Arctor, definitely my honest thoughts is that it's not going to be very useful anymore, but we'll see how that goes. Give me a second, I'm going to open up my window. Sending in an eagle. See, the big problem with the Diligence Counter Sniper is that I do not like how it feels in the hand, so... The Arc Thor is worse because of the range. Map. It, it feels good because meters. it can stack or a hulk now, but the range is only 35 meters, which is way too short against automatons. Might still be good against terminates, but against automatons, hell no. Mm. Because the automatons will absolutely butcher you, and a lot of them are going to be firing beyond 35. So everybody that's used to the old range of the Arc Thor, you're going to feel it's complete ass. No gunships or walkers on my end, so I think it's uh, kind of rare, like the first few sightings of the Shriekers and whatnot. Hopefully it's not in every single game, just yet. But we'll have to see how that goes. The Arc Thrower, like any experienced Arc Thrower main who used to main it before, is going to find its ass, because I was able to fire it super fast. I'm not even mad about the fire rate, but I am genuinely mad about the changes that they've made to the freaking... Um, range because it was it's it, to me that was absolutely unnecessary there was never a need to change the range on it but the cool thing about the jar is that I can take out tanks from the back of the jar which is hilarious to say the least But they did make some changes to the conditions, so like, uh, the orbital rail cannon strike feels a lot better to use right now. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit compared to how it was before because you're no longer dealing with the cooldown time increase of 50%, now it's only 25% at most, and the 100% call in time is no longer a thing, so yeah, all of that combined makes me feel pretty alright. Um, so I'm happy with those changes at least, like it doesn't feel bad to say the least. Missions can still progress smoothly. I think auto cannon is still king, but yeah. Slugger still good. We'll test it out tomorrow. Slugger is scheduled for tomorrow. Definitely not today. But yeah, the jar five feels good. It fires way slower now, Binny B. So um, the full scope of the changes is all gonna be detailed in a video later. But I will I will say it straight. The arc thrower is ass now. The stagger is good, but you will never find a lot of situations where hey I could be in 35 uh, meters of these enemies and still feel okay I think people were talking about those ships right there see that I'm pretty sure those are the cloaked automaton ships cuz uh, I don't think those are super destroyers at least as far as I know those do not look like super destroyers Hello, see super I destroyers look like that subscriber tonight. those those, I'm pretty sure, are automaton ships. So those are the cloaked automaton ships right there. Well, because it was firing too fast. Yeah, so if anyone's wondering what the cloaked automaton ships look like, you see that? That's a super destroyer next to the cloaked automaton ship. So this whole block right here is the new automaton ships that they've just... Uh, God, and right there you can see a detailed super destroyer, so that's not a super destroyer, that's a cloaked automaton ship, or illuminate ship, I don't know, but that's what that is, right there, you can see it, so yeah, um, this is the new UFO, I guess, in, uh, in this game, so there you go, right there, that's the proof of all the stuff that you guys have been seeing so far. Supplies. 
I had to take a screenshot of that. I'll post it on Twitter later. Yeah, the automaton gunships. I've already received word from the other operatives in the field. We have seen the automaton gunships uh, coming in, and we've also seen the automaton walkers. They're getting pretty desperate, so they're releasing all their forces at us. Like, they're throwing everything and the kitchen sink at us, so it's going to be pretty wild. Not going to lie. Tech Jones, you say please be illuminate. You do realize that every single person is going to die as soon as the uh, illuminate comes in, right? You do realize they're harder than automatons, right? Yeah, no. Well, I just hope that we can actually kill it because uh, that's the only thing that I want to see. I want to see us completely rip that stuff apart. Yeah, you don't really want to use the slugger anymore. Just use the jar five. You'll get the same value out of it. Uh, devastators don't spawn more often now. I've seen a lot less devastators, but hulks and tanks are way more annoying. And the devastators that do exist are ass. So still difficult overall. <laughs> I hope they don't do that. The biggest stealth change though is the uh, call in time. You know, you remember how everybody was like, oh my god, the Terminates can call in reinforcements instantly, at least the bots give you a chance? Yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. There's no such thing as a chance anymore. You will instantaneously get shit called in on you now, so be very, very careful. But I do like what the jar is all about. Well, I mean, if they stop playing just because of that, they're not true hell divers. I don't care about what nerfs come or buffs come in. To me, it's all part of the game. So. Pelican One preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican One beginning ascent. I don't think it'll overcharge the bots. Anyway, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see how it goes because uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried on that. That was fast and clean. I'm finding that, like, against the automatons now, it's almost like stealth play is a must, which is feeling a bit weird to me, but I guess I can adapt if it's really necessary. I don't want to, but I can. I don't think they're taking fun away at all, no. Um, I think rather they're trying to give us different options for doing stuff. LOL! Damn, okay, so now we're bloody on board, too. That is pretty cool. Super You'll never forget the hell divers anyway, we carry on. The incremental okay, game. next is Liberator Penetrator, so we're gonna go test that. Where's my Liberator Penetrator? Alright. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Let us cleanse the galaxy of it. Eradicate. Hellpods Prime. 
engaging orbital allied destroyer has left squadron orbit synchronized you want more equipment to be usable same here pal right same here. here allied destroyer has left squadron here hello robot i heard you got a new subscriber tonight Oh, this is gonna be wild. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new Welcome subscriber new subscribers. Tonight. Can't wait for the missile silo. I can't wait for a lot of interesting choices, but we'll have to see where they all lead us. Should I go AMR? I'll go AMR. Now that if there are any pinch hitters who can discover us, well, come find us. Launch initiated. Ballistic shield will not be tested. I'm sorry, I do not play the ballistic shield strat. Although, technically, you could use it with a defender. I don't think I'll be testing it today, but I might be willing to test it tomorrow. Actually, wait, it takes up a backpack slot. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Oh! Oh shit! Yo, hey! Holy celebrate! Woo! Thank you. I didn't even notice. Uh, th thank you guys for over 300 viewers on a night stream. I I wasn't expecting that. Um, just goes to show that Super Earth Elite is for real, man. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, crap! I got killed by an annihilated tank. Well, that was not very cash money. Super Earth Elite. <laughs> yep, Super Earth Elite. Dead. I wasn't expecting them to drop a freaking annihilated tank like right outside. Could they calm down a little bit? Let's just destroy Automaton 17%. 17% of my patootie. You joining me, brother? Oh dear. Well, I'll soon. I'm going to play Injustice Wolf. I've been having fun playing the game, dude. I hate that one EAT can't even take out the tank from the front. Like, that's silly to me. I don't think they fi- I'm not sure if they fixed the death cam yet. That I cannot say for sure. Seems okay for now. Allied destroyer joining squadron, deploying helldiver. Requesting air support, requesting orbital. The Liberator Penetrator, uh, it's okay but the main issue that I'm having is uh, like um, I think shooting it it doesn't deal enough damage so jar 5 has a lot of recalls true but the liberated penetrator seems to be like okay 
it's kind of like if I just store it down, it'll do what it's supposed to do, but it requires a bit too much ammo. I don't know. Maybe it's just my feeling on it. I'm not used to it. I might have to try it a bit more, but yeah. The Liberated Penetrator doesn't seem to be doing as much as I would like. But still pretty good. It's much better now that I have... Whoa! Okay. Yeah, the capacity, like, I could, I spent a whole mag there, and I'm pretty sure I was going for the head, so, um, as cool as it is, and I think it's pretty darn good, I think that I would prefer the jar. The jar 5 makes so much more sense to me. I saw Yuri coming into Helldivers. Are you here to rescue me, buddy? You got a full squad, bro. Okay, I'll kick one of these dudes soon. I'll let them finish the mission and then remove one. Welcome, welcome. Your well, Jar 5 is now the most powerful weapon in the game. No, 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 no. Clearly, it's... Clearly it's what? Clearly it's not. It's not. Oh yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah. The weapon is totally not overpowered at all. Oh, crash. Ugh. Damn. Okay. That was no good. I have to... Mm. I actually will test out the counter sniper on the next round because I have to redo that mission that that was kind of ass that it crashed there the game is crashing more yes and no there's some things that cause crashes but uh, do take note number one it's the it's the grenades on the ground so you don't throw back any of the grenades all right if you guys see grenades on the ground do not throw them back Fire is crazy good now on the enemy too. On terminates, I'm sure, Ready but uh, another mission, hell diver? on bots, no. I don't think fire will work against bots. Oh. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Well, that's Engaging finished. Orbital okay. Thrusters. So I still got that finished. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, good enough for me. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods grenades and snowballs are the problem, but we already knew about the snowballs, just not about the grenades. Diligence Counter Sniper. Okay, I'll try it. Just for you guys, alright? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bad, but I'll try it anyway. Ah, let's go. Uh, the sickle, Cody, I've heard that it may have a nerf. Um, I heard that it overheats more quickly now, but that is an unconfirmed rumor because it wasn't in the patch notes. If anyone can confirm for me, go ahead and check it out. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Oh, I just... oh okay. Lol, cannot play strategy hero anymore. Squadron. We'll wait for you. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. Lol, Stratagem Hero now causes Hell disconnects. Divers to Hell pods. Repeat, Helldivers to Hell pods. How am I supposed to show off? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Alright, we stopped at 10k. <laughs> it was around Allied 20 years old. There you go. Has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Okay, come. Orbit. Alright, um... For this one, I will run localization confusion. I'm gonna need the eagle pods. Or eagle airstrike. I'll try the AMR. Along with the guard dog. Is this all going through? Okay. 
Okay, should be fine, should be fine. Diligence counter sniper. And you know what? I'll, instead of the fortified armor, I'm gonna try this. My stealthy armor. Okay. Launch initiated. Verifying file integrity doesn't help you reduce crashes, and it never will. Just so you know. Slugger won't destroy fences now? Well, that sucks. If you're having any problems with the Slugger, just switch to the Jar 5. You'll be a lot happier. Yeah, verifying game files doesn't normally solve anything, just so you guys know. I'm okay, ja Jayaka. Uh, I've had one crash so far. Nothing else thus, thus far, so... I think I'm doing alright. But I get a genuine feeling that the crashes from the other one were from other sources. Oh, one, one of them. Disconnected. Yeah, disconnected during the drop. I expect it's because people still haven't changed their settings. In case you guys do not know, please alter your settings accordingly. Yep, they immediately send up a, a flare now, so this is pretty bad. Diligence counter sniper, uh. Yep, you see, the diligence counter sniper still sucks because it takes so long to aim. That's the big problem. If it didn't do that, It'll be okay, but it does, so ooh. What are you gonna supposed to do when these freaking berserkers are chasing you? Yeah, I know. You're gonna have to become a stratagem, buddy. By the time the diligence counter sniper even tries to aim, it's a problem. So yeah, I can't justify the use of uh, this thing right now. Requesting advanced weaponry. Oh my God! So that's the gunship. Shit. Once it detects you, it's gonna fire. Ah, crap! Okay, there we go. This is down. Phew! I gotta test out what can and cannot kill it. What do you pop it with? Uh, I think they popped it with a quasar or anti tank. The other guy did it, not me. Calling down supplies! Engaging terminal! Whoa, my YouTube chat reset. Seems to be just a straight shot with Quasar. There must be a factory that's uh, sending them up. Diligence counter sniper is sucking so bad. What settings need to be changed? Medium graphics is maximum. Make sure your textures, everything is all medium. That's what seems to have solved most of my problems in this game. Oh, there's that big building right there, man. Oh. Wow, that is pretty swanky danky. I'll pull the lever. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna try tossing a rail cannon strike on it, see if it'll work. I don't know if it will, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, apparently not. Bot fabricator, left 50 meters. How the hell do we clear this? What the hit? Okay, 500 kilogram bomb, alright. No, you probably have to help him. No, there's probably gotta be another way. Hell bomb. 
so these are the automaton version of the shriekers. Yeah, it is the hell bomb. Calling it in now. I don't know if that worked, but I did AMR it. Maybe it did. Okay, let's try. Engaging terminal. Reinforcing L bomb arms. Clear the area. Clearing the area. The bunny chain. The bunny chain just like the jet box. <laughs> I know. I know. They are something else, eh? Hey, can the AMR take out the illegal broadcast? Oh, it can't. can't. Oh, it can't. Oh, What about the diligence? <laughs> the diligence counter sniper sucks. Test armor yet? Uh, the armor is okay, but doesn't really offer you that much protection. I'll just be real about that. Um, I want like. It seems to me okay, but it's nothing like super special or anything. So, um, I'm actually using the presence uh, reduced armor, so that bots don't notice me as much. Well, I figure it, you know, if they uh, don't know who I am or where I am, then it's fine, right? Stratagem Jammer, I'm going for it. That was not the AMR shit. The AMR is a hell of a lot more powerful though, I gotta admit that. Seems to kill stuff real nicely. But the Diligence Counter Sniper? Oh man. Oh man. The biggest problem with it is how heavy the scope is, so it just doesn't feel good to utilize. But other than that, like, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's kind of sucky. Also, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already yet. If Hellbomb takes it out, 500 kilogram shit as well? Nah. AMR is buffed. AMR versus Auto Cannon? Uh, Auto Cannon can still take care of Fabricators. AMR can't. By the way, if I miss chat, sorry. It's going too fast for me while I'm concentrating. But yes. Um, so far, I do like what the, a what the AMR has offered. Uh, it feels pretty good overall as a stratagem. So I can certainly say it's useful. But... Whether... Like, I don't think it'll replace the Auto Cannon. Just that with the AMR, you can have a backpack. And the new Guard Dog Rover is pretty good. Not gonna lie about that. The new Guard Dog Rover is pretty swanky. It does its job, and it's a good boy. For the most part. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber Enemy tonight. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. But, yeah, the, like, the autocannon's explosion power is good. I really like... I really like its explosive uh, qualities. But they did change quite a few things that I think is very positive. Like, number one, the fact that it no longer causes, like, um, the fact that they reduced the cooldown and call in time modifiers is kind of beautiful. And I'm really, really pleased with that. That one's really good. Holy crap, I think my rover just killed that guy. God damn. Yeah, damn. The diligence counter sniper is okay, but yeah, you have to get used to the weight of the thing. The weight of it is pretty heavy, so. Once you get used to it, it's good. Guard dog has armor pen? I think it does. I'm quite certain it does because it, it it's doing a good job. Look at it. It's a good boy. And it reloads now properly, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I stand corrected on the counter sniper. You still have to hit headshots with it, so. Yeah, no, nah, I, I see no reason not to ever use the Diligence counter sniper versus the uh, Jar 5. And that's just me being hella real. Oh, 
all down. I don't know. AMR feels so good right now. The AMR feels amazing to use, and uh, yeah. I mean, I love my auto cannon. Don't get me wrong, but. Shit, this thing just feels good. I'm not gonna lie, you guys gotta really try out the AMR. Yeah, the arc and slugger changes definitely are gonna rub people the wrong way, but the Jar 5 is amazing. Use it. But, whew, the uh, AMR is beyond words. Beyond words right now. Um... I think everybody needs to be trying out the AMR. AMR is... You know, I, I hated it. But I'm gonna say it right now. The guard dog does not need a supply to reload itself. It will just reload itself automatically. Um, so it's pretty good in, in regards to that. And it, the Liberator is stronger than the Laser Rover. So it's really good. And um, yeah, the AMR right now is just the best. I I really enjoy it. <laughs> Like, I, I, I wish, you know, I, I want to put it lightly, but I really enjoy it. Like, I can, you know. Yeah, the rover wasn't changed at all. The guard dog ballistic is what I'm using right now, and it's pretty good. All they have to do is just make a minor change, right? Yep. Yeah, dude, my, my guard dog just took out a, a heavy devastator by itself. Like, yo. What the hell, man? Okay. Friendship door. I've got this one. I don't think you can take care of the charger, no, because charger is heavy armor, so that's different. But ooh, an AMR in here. Hmm. The gods want AMR strong. But yeah, the guard dog is now gonna be your best friend. The regular one? Oh yeah. It's like got the stats of the Liberator Penetrator, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not carrying a normal Liberator. I'm pretty sure it's carrying the Penetrator. As far as I can tell, anyway. Objective nearby. But Diligence Counter Snipe? Yeah, nah. Never. If I want to be, if I want to be ass at my job, I will, I will ask this thing for help. Dude, it just took out. It's just taking these guys out. Look at this. My guard dog does not give a flying fuck who you are. It will just absolutely rip you. I dig that. It just resupplies in the backpack, comes back out, and takes out the trash. Sorry, you're. Oh, you died. <laughs> Wait, Iron Storm. Just got to get my spicy rocket and slit and hit my head on the rock. Dude, I'm not even fighting like half these bots. The the guard dog is killing them all. <laughs> Enjoy your factory striders. I've got this one. Okay, as soon as the Iron Storm is uh, out, I'll call you in. But yeah, I I guys, I got to tell you, this guard dog. This guard dog. Whew. I'm on the terminal. Do you think it's less prone to team killing? Um, way less prone to team killing because it, it fires slowly. So unlike the rover that'll just beam your entire team to death, uh, this thing is all right. Thanks. Another diver for the cause. Okay. Almost welcome. I do, Trico Blunt. We did a we did a nine this morning, dude. But also, difficulty 7 is just good for me to be able to interact with my chat. I mean, if you want me to just play and not talk to you guys, I can do that as well. And I can just go play difficulty 9 if you want. I do play 9s when I've got a full team, but it's a lot harder to interact with chat. So if you, if you, I mean, if you prefer that Trico Blunt, I'll just go play a 9 and not talk to you guys the entire time. Then there's no point in me being a streamer, right? Come on, come on, come on. Let's be logical here. All right. At least difficulty 7 is nice and chill. So it allows me to interact with my chat and it also, you know, deliver content. Otherwise, you know, there's no point in me doing this. I do like to test on sevens. Sevens are good, but I will say one thing. Absolutely screw the personnel evacuation mission. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. How to kill UAV fabricator without a hell bomb? Hell bomb it. Woo! 
Ooh. Okay, that is a Hulk. And it does not like me. I walked into a patrol and I regret everything. I regret all my life choices. What the? Huh? I got hit by from behind by something. It was weird. That's me. That's me. That was you? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is that possible? It's just like this hand, but now it's this full. Oh, okay. Oh. It was calling an eagle. Alright. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? It failed to it failed to climb up a small rock, and my and my hell diver just wrecked off. Oh, okay, so that's what happened. Well, no. This thing really wants to try killing a fabricator by itself. Say biggest downside is just liberate the diligence counter sniper aims at the pace of evolution. So I wouldn't use it. Not having to use it after this mission would be quite a blessing. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, that okay. thing. Can you proceed to extraction when ready? Requesting air support. Calling in orbital strike. 500 kilogram. Orbital strike. Yeah, Liberty returns, locked and loaded. Found something! Located. South. Uh, yes. There were ammo buffs for the recoilless. Oh, the AMR can do it. Okay. Nice. I like that. Calling down support weapon. Actually, quite helpful. Okay, good test. Wonder you might. Yep, yep, go ahead. Calling in extraction. Yeah, the homies just uh, doing a little extra, but that's all right for me. Support weapon inbound. Calling in an This thing, this thing just gets headshots. I mean, Yuri's getting them too, but earlier it got a headshot on a Berserker and that was freaking cool. That is some wild stuff, damn. Look at it, it's just it's just absolutely annihilating berserkers. I saw a spicy rocket. Yeah, 
Yep, it just wrecked everything there. Damn. ETA T minus 20 seconds. ETA T minus 10 seconds. Clear landing zone. Falcon 1 arriving at coordinates. AMR plus this thing is way too much fun. Slugger? No. I'll be testing that tomorrow. Infrared scope? I don't know, man, but uh, whenever. This guy seems to be using the sickle just fine, though. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't nerfed. Four quesadilla cannons is pretty good, but yeah, I would avoid it because only because um, you at least need one sniper. I would say, not bad though, not bad. Yeah, I mean, they could do that, Archbishop, but I don't think they will. I don't think they will. They counted all the XP from all the various uh, levels that we played, so everything will just be added in. Oh, Malevolent Creek is fully liberated? Is it? Cardigan's Rule, didn't you read the update? Dude, come on. I posted a video about it. Come on, come on. You gotta know, you gotta know what's up, man. You gotta know what's up. Okay, coming back on. Slugger got nerfed, yep. Thanks, Nice, for linking them. Liberty is victorious once more. <laughs> Alright. So you are reason why this guy is full of blood? Uh, we are all full of blood, by the way. Huh. The war rages on. Choose where you will give your aid. Okay. Malivalon Creek. Difficulty 7. Let's see. Any missions where we can avoid... Oh, yeah. There are no conditions on defense missions. That's right. This one. Operation complete. Okay, good. Mission coordinates locked. I won't touch the personnel mission because... No. <laughs> no. Liberation, 77%. We should be done. Should be done uh, by the time this is all done. There was a 2 GB patch on PC, man. 41 GB patch? What the hell? You run some illegal version of this? Auto cannon is still chef's kiss, obviously. Okay, eradicate mission. Y'all know the drill. Let me start with this. And then, uh, what was I supposed to test next? I've done Liberator Penetrator. The counter diligence counter sniper slugger, slugger. I was gonna test it tomorrow, but you know what? I'll test it today, and uh, make everybody cry. Okay, now give me my Gardo Dogu, anti material rifle, and EMS small hall. Okay. Now, I'm going to let you guys take all the fire, and I will take nothing. <laughs> Flamethrower? I'm not testing that shit. Hell no. I'm not burning myself to death on bots. You can do that if you want, Nice, but you ditched me. Ditcher. Yeah, they updated the personnel mission, except we tested it out on difficulty 5, and it's still undoable, so no thank you. I will stay away from that. We already tested Akko Place, and it sucks ass. You're running my Arctho build? Don't. The Arctho got nerfed tonight, so make sure you take that and throw it out. Because technically, you still can work against bugs, but we are not against bugs right now. Yes. Yes. 
It could work against bugs, but we are fighting bots, which everybody should be fighting. Unless you're one of them bug hunter faction people. Um... Oh yeah, I, I guess I should... I guess I should test heavy armor at some point. Maybe. I'll think about it. What do you mean, whoa, 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 niece? What, what is this whoa, whoa, whoa about, huh? 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 You ditched me today, buddy. You ran away. You ran away from your pal. You know how sad that makes me on the inside? Uh, not really, because my mouse sensitivity is perfectly fine. The diligence, the diligence counter sniper is just ass. Even in third person perspective, it's literally useless, so I wouldn't use it with, like, no matter what. It's just bad, in my opinion. I think that there are way better options. I might try out the, I definitely might try out the, uh... I, I know that that sounds weird, definitely might, but yeah, I will definitely might try out the heavy armor on the next one. See how it feels. Oh, but wait, there's no heavy armor that reduces my presence. Crap, I'm playing sniper. I'll test heavy armor tomorrow when I feel like it. Well, yes. Well, they buffed the AMR, so new meta is absolutely AMR. But I love the reduction to explosion damage. At least there's that. Oh, come on. Huh? What's going on? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just do this the normal human way. gonna no scope these guys screw it I don't need a scope to fire all right that works oh shit my chat died There we go. Phew. Gotta love the free AATs. Alright, I'm gonna run. Oh no. Dude. I thought I had that. I should have proned. Oh well. Oh, hey. Maybe I can, uh... Democracy has landed! No diver, you are moving outside the mission area. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the slugger just doesn't feel good to use anymore. The Arc Thor nerfs pretty bad. Um, I wouldn't use it in combat now because the range is just not good. And the slugger nerf hurts quite a lot. The flame changes uh, cause a lot of people to die, so that's another big one that's uh, not so good, I guess. I mean, lots of stuff has happened, so I mean, we gotta we gotta understand that things aren't the same as they were before. Oh, man. 
I have a feeling that most of these guys are just killing each other. The AMR is uh, very good. It can one shot if you hit the head. It's just that I wasn't hitting the head. But now it can two shot even without hitting the head, which is really nice. But I do have to admit, the slugger changes hurt. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, if you can. Okay. I can hold for a little longer. Oh, shh. Huh? Oh, did somebody manage to get in? Because I wasn't dead yet. Yeah, I went, I, I went in. Oh, okay, good. That's alright. Good enough. Yeah, for bug missions, the arc might still be good, for sure. Breaker Incendiary will definitely be good against the Terminates. I'm just not liking the changes to the Hulk Scorcher, but again, depends on how you roll with it. Like, to me, uh, not too bad. Hello, robot. But yeah, fire damage increased again, so it is pretty much an instant tonight. kill. It's pretty close to an instant kill, but either way, that's alright. How's the slugger feel? I don't ever want to see it again. Pick a jar 5. You may as well just take a jar 5 and go. How are the loadouts looking? Okay, I guess. Um, it's going to take a bit of rejigging, but... Um, Guard Dog is now my new best friend. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, AMR is undergoing testing. Hey, welcome back to the Prestige, DBS. Thank you! So... Super Earth Elite are now dropping in on Malevolent Welcome Creek and also Alabama. testing stuff. So yeah, I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying what we've got. Uh, I never want to see the Slugger again in my life, so I do not care about that. Swapping over to Jar. Does the AMR two shot the Hulks? Yeah. No, it, it's two shot. It's always been two shot. Just so you know, it's always been a two shot. If you don't have steel veterans, earn the credits and get steel veterans. It's only a thousand super credits. You can farm super credits if you want, or just buy it up. It's only ten bucks. It's really cheap. So I would say probably the best thing to do is just. Uh, oh, I would, okay. Yeah, we can do it that way. I don't mind. Oh right, somebody wanted me to test ballistic shield as well. Uh, I guess I can. I don't see why not. Ballistic shield. I'm gonna need the defender for this one. Support weapon will still be the AMR. Um, I'll swap over to the defender. Okay. Well, you have to farm the metals, buddy. So. Jar 5 is uh, your top pick. Otherwise, get the Plaz 1 Scorcher. Or if all that fails, Defender and Ballistic Shield. Oh yeah, Heavy Armor. Uh, heavy Armor I might leave till tomorrow, only because I don't want to compromise the stealth loadout that I'm testing. Steel Veterans? Unlock everything in Steel Veterans. But go for the Jar 5 first. Jar 5 is your priority. That is one of the best things in the game. I know, right? I'm a Galactic Commander now. Super Earth Elite Galactic Commander. Exactly, Jeevan. Honest feedback, Yuri. How is the Jar 5 feeling? Because this guy mains Jar 5. Go now, and fear the shadow of neither death nor Feels the same, punches more. Feels the same, punches more. Nice. So it sucks. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, I guess I'm a tank now. Hello, El Presidente. Yeah, of course, Mystic. The Arc Thor just got nerfed today. Of course, there, it, the video doesn't work anymore. Come on. <laughs> The chain, the patch just happened today. You gotta wait for the updates, dude. Don't watch old videos. Old videos usually get become irrelevant very fast in this game. So you gotta watch all the most recent videos instead. Especially when there's a patch today. This isn't like those slow games that update, you know, once every five months. This game updates very, very fast. Things change and snap. I can actually fire in first person too. That's pretty cool. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Face tank the Hulk? I don't think I can. The Scout Striders will still probably kill me. At least as far as I can see. So that's definitely a thing. Anyway. So I feel like a riot shield cop from freaking Payday 3. Did somebody try to blast the case of Dilla Cannon at something? Requesting advanced weaponry. Fire in the I'm gonna hit the terminal. I got the terminal. Oh. Someone call down the SSD already? Okay. Heading up. I need to elaborate more on the Dominator. I mean, he used to not one shot uh, certain small enemies. Now he does. Now it's guaranteed one shot on those, right? Good. Yeah, I do like the dominated lot. By the way, you're, I think we got one guy on you. There you go. There's a cannon no. turret. Yeah, I know. Because the guy just poked it and didn't finish it off, so. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. And we're in range of enemy artillery. Lovely. I guess I'll go after the enemy artillery. Where is it? Tagging map. There it is. I hate it when a guy starts that thing and never finishes off the cannon tower. Like, you start that shit, you finish it off. Oh, he just lasered a 
light outpost, damn. Okay. And again, who am I to talk? I'm gonna laser this thing. Yeah, they're new flying automaton enemies. The drone carriers, uh, you have to destroy their base. Think of them like the Shriekers. Um, same, same methodology, but they're pretty okay. They're not too bad. Uh, I've handled them already, and they're just simple, straightforward. You don't need to sweat too much. That's beautiful. The most important thing to remember is that automatons now call in uh, things like almost immediately. And Toyang, yes, grenades, uh, sorry, burn hurts a lot more, so please be very careful with it. The Hulks will instantly kill you. But yes, I fought the new enemies already, just not the Walker. I think the Walker is only available difficulty 8 and 9, so I'm gonna have to try that at some point. I think that'll be really cool to see. I haven't seen one in difficulty 7 yet. Defender with Ballistic Shield seems okay if you want a tank. Patch seems great. I don't think so, Grey Falcon, because uh, Arc Thor, not a lot of fun. You know I will, Olivia. Salute for you. Thank you so much. The new bots are cool. Well, the drones, anyway. I haven't seen the new walker. Fun fact, though. You can actually defend against a heavy devastator with the uh, with the ballistic shield so if heavy devastators are wiping you out ballistic shields a good option you get pretty much full defense against them you be careful New walker random? Probably. The rocket will explode and kill you, but it won't deal a lot of damage. That is true. I, I did use the auto cannon more than the arc anyway, which is true. I do not deny. Oh, but take, picking up an SSD will remove the ballistic shield, which is wild. That's not very cash money. Supplies if you guys need it. Oh, tank. Dropping that. Oh, killed it already. Nice. I mean, it does allow you to calmly ignore Devastators, which is pretty nice, I guess. There's a walker on the freaking thing. I was like, how did the hell did this guy shoot me? Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Using ooh, damn it. Yeah. Ooh. 
No, I know we can. I'm just thinking. If I want to kill that scout walker. That was annoying me. There we go. Yeah, um, basically a rocket is not going to protect you against it, like with the shield. Sorry, the shield is not going to protect you from a rocket, so there is that. So a shield's okay, but not going to save you against rockets. It will protect you from most fire, though. So it depends on how you want to handle this. Me, I prefer to play at range at all times, like far range. So I'm doing this test because people ask me to, but while it is pretty cool against bullets, you're going to die most of the time. Well, I think if the levels didn't come every, like if the titles didn't come every 10 levels, it would probably be a problem because uh, we just have way too many, we just have way too many titles, so it wouldn't be very easy. Ooh, killed by Marauder. Darn. That's a shame. Thanks, Yuri. Request approved. Straight through the crotch. Oh, yeah. There you go. Happy trails. Right, this guy needs samples. Keep forgetting. Ion Storm in progress. Continuing north. The new changes are alright for some of them. How you doing, cowboy? Jar 5 is super legit right now. Yeah, the shield just doesn't pull out sometimes when you switch between guns, which is a bit which is a bit of a problem, but um, I mean if people really like ballistic shield, they can go with it. I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna say that their, you know, way of life is wrong. Just that they might have to be a bit careful. Hang on. I'm gonna check my hair. Ooh. Anyway, my hair is missing. Okay, there we are. Back at it. Back at it with my fluffy hair. <laughs> So far right now, I'm a big AMR fan. Uh, I like the Rover the best. I'm gonna have to come up with some loadouts around those. Oh. Ah, crap. firm believer of if they don't have line of sight of me they should not be able to call in whatever what do I know there you go. have a laser I don't want to deal with this Yeah, I know, Dagger One Echo. Um, but that, to me, would count as an exploit, so I'm not going to use it. Because it's an unintended part of the game. At least as far as I'm concerned. So, because I normally work with companies, I prefer not to do that kind of stuff as a YouTuber. Gets me more jobs in the future. We'll level on 85. Good. We gotta finish it up. Are we? 
There's a bunch behind us, but that should be fine. What's the best primary against the bot? Scorcher is still good. You can use the Liberator Penetrator if you really like it, or you can go for Jar 5. Jar 5 is pretty good, but there's no such thing as one best. Like, you gotta use what you can kill well with and what feels comfortable. The Breaker Incendiary got a bit of a buff, but that's mostly for anti terminated Yeah, the AMR is looking really good right now. Honest to God, it's looking like a really upgraded gun, but it cannot handle Bile Titans. That being said, with the Arc Thor being dead in the water, we might have to pick some other options, you know? And that's just me being very real. So yeah, I think the way that I see it, uh, things are going to have to change drastically. But yeah, the 30% damage increase, I think, will help a lot with the bugs. We knew you, uh, arc shotgun? Haven't tested that. Maybe its aiming was fixed. But I can certainly tell you right now that the uh, arc thrower is ass. So, um, Blitzer, I'll give it a try another time. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow with heavy armor. As a short-range striker type weapon. It might pair well, actually, with, uh, what I currently have. those pot shots. Okay, that's pretty rough. Oh, you Hang on. Yep, I am. Thank you. Just needed a moment, because... Okay. And now for the other one. Yeah, I can't see through the smoke. Oh, dear. I don't know what killed me back there. Oh, rocket down here. Yeah, there's one spicy rocket boy over there. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Exterminate? No. Eradicate bots have had no changes. If you fail to level three, that's very weird. The I think you're talking about the retrieve essential personnel. That one has problems. But certainly not the eradicate, no. Trails. Map. But yeah, as much as Ballistic Shield is nice, um, it's decent if you want to tank, but not very good for a lot of other situations. Oh, come on! The ragdoll is crazy. Dude. This whole ass patrol of bots come from. Okay, we better go. They're just gonna keep calling in. Sending in an eagle. Sending in an eagle. Oh, shh. It's okay. Calling in reinforcements. Calling in behind me.
One thing uh, which is wrong is that, look, on automatons, I always say run first, but if there's a wave of bots that's clearable, just clear them and go. Don't just leave your teammates to clear them, but whatever. This guy's a newbie. That's his first offense. He makes a second offense, then off to remove him. Do you think that's important you from the back? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it should, but I really don't think so, given the way this is supposed to work. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Crap. There's no time, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, you got Milton like one second, jeez. Tells you. Damage increase is pretty insane. But yep, thanks, Super God. Does it actually. I don't know if the shield protects me when I'm prone. Because it's pretty bad if it. Oh, come on! Oh, phew, got him. No, 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 no. The other commissar is not calling in. You know what? Screw that. And screw that light too. There! Oh, I can see it. No, no! Yeah. Those of you Warhammer 40k fans among us, uh, just so you know, the bots have their own commissars, which is which I find hilarious. I think they fixed the aiming with the AMR though, which is nice. It seems to be hitting on target. Whoa. are supposed to face less they fix that bug cardigans rule did you actually read it you will not face more devastators you face less so under the uh, changes to the fixes automaton enemy constellations that preferred to spawn more of certain devastator types did not work and are now functioning as they should Hello, this means that oh wait no sorry you're right you got a new sorry I was wrong you're right Hmm, more Devastators instead of any other enemy types. Feels the same though. Feels the same though. That's weird. I actually thought it was less. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I was wrong, you're right. Not yet, 90. So, more Devastators apparently rather than less, which is... Not, I'm not sure why, but... Okay! Why would they do that? I suppose instead of tanks and hulks. I mean, I can't. I genuinely can't tell. I mean, probably, probably, um, less tanks and hulks. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe scout striders or troopers. Yeah, could be. Could be. Oh, game crash. Up. Oh. Graphic settings. It's the graphic settings, bro. Eating you alive, what, bro. Did it reset? Did it reset? I don't think so. I think it's just that. Have you set your textures to medium? Because that so far has been the only thing that I can think of that causes issues, like legit issues. No, yep, always hit. I will double check. Okay, then should be fine. Okay, let me go back to 
Liberties and Let me try and get my perfect concern. loadout. Yeah, fair enough, John Taro. <laughs> More clarity with the Devastators and not all heavy and not all rocket. I hope so. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it really turns out because I don't really know for sure right now. But thank you for all the likes on stream. Don't forget to keep liking the stream, all right? Every like will help us deliver justice in the name of Super Earth. Um, let's go see how the war effort's doing. Malavalon Creek, 86%, so doing Operation good we are. Complete. Mission coordinates locked. Alright, let's get it done. Hellpods Prime. Galactic Commander. I am the Engaging most galactic commander. Alright, alright. We'll do Orbit the usual. Synchronized. And I'll go with my new favorite, Gardotoku. Hellpod launch initiated. The order is not done. We have to defend the planets, Virgil. Come on, keep up. I told you. Yeah, you posted that comment like 15 bajillion times, Epic Gamer. I've seen no proof of that. If you have proof, please, uh show me the evidence because I haven't seen that happen yet. Maybe when Ubenea fails we'll get a chance but defending Malevolent Creek it's almost done so we have to defend right now. Yeah there are new levels over 50 Emil. So I'm a galactic commander right now with level 97. And also Epic Gamer please do not post a comment multiple times in multiple areas alright. Doing so will net you a ban on a channel. So this time around, I just cleaned it up, but don't don't do that. Just post one comment; it's good enough. Don't spam. Uh, yeah, straight over to Ubenea if there's enough time. It depends on how fast we do malevolent. Because if we do malevolent fast enough, we should have enough time for Ubenea. But we'll have to see. But given how fast this is going, I think Malevolent might fall fast enough that Ubenea uh, shouldn't be a problem. But we'll see. We'll see. No, John Taro. Still tough for me. But I rarely play at max difficulty. That and I've got my own system of doing things. So it's feeling easy for you? Good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, but I think a lot of people still do struggle, so we should be kind and make sure that if it's feeling easy for you, then make sure you're doing nothing but leading newbies. Because that's going to be the most important thing going forward. We should be constantly guiding newbies toward better stuff. Shoot marauders in the head or stomach. Um, both will literally kill marauders because the jar, well, assuming you're using the jar, uh, you should have no trouble with either. Although, I have to admit with the jar... I wonder if they fixed the aiming on this thing. They seem to have done so. That's actually pretty alright. Uh, yeah, head or stomach doesn't really matter. Both will get the job done. Yeah, both will get the job done. So you can shoot either way. Get the trails. You are you okay at the uh, power point? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna clear this detector tower. Dropping a pin. Here. North, 100 meters. 
Uh, I mean, playing with your breaker incendiary and doing some damage? Eh, I don't know, man. Maybe. <laughs> nah, breaker incendiary is fine. But please do take note that it was mostly used against bugs anyway. So right now the order is automatons. I would very much love it if everyone would be willing to focus on that. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't want to, I can't really force it. Jar 5 is nice. Okay, then. Yeah, maybe I'll switch back to third person aim. Okay, that's done. Uh, retrieve launch codes. Retrieving now. Ooh, ooh, I did not know what is causing that. Rover, take him out. Good work. Good work, Rover boy. Now, I'm going to try something that I haven't tried in a while. Alright. Oh yeah, one full mag. Which shotgun is that, Jar 5? Jar 5 is currently uh, optimal, I would say. Now, let's go over here and go touch things that I shouldn't touch. Found something. Requesting air support. Okay, I'll grab air the samples for the fire. new guy on the team. Put a new kid on the block. New mag. The gun reloaded. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go get the launch codes. I'm gonna try and eagle this though, if I can. Standing in an eagle. Okay, going for launch codes now. Hot. Yeah. Okay, uh you died there. I'll try and throw you in that direction, yeah? Calling in reinforcements! Uh. Oh, damn. My guard dog got him. Nice job, Dogarino. Shoot this guard dog. Dangerous! Woo. Loving it. This guard dog gets headshots like a uh, freaking... Freaking sniper, man. Ah, there it is. Found him! Dude, the guard dog is... <laughs> I tell, I'm tell, i telling you guys, I'm addicted to using this guard dog. I don't even have to fight on my own. Calmere, if you dare say I'm an automaton disguised, do you see his hand? All right, we're synthoids. Get it right. Don't you dare call me an automaton. Next person to do that, this hand, all right? I'll give you my synthetic flesh to your face. <laughs> Did they do anything to liberate explosive? Not that I know. Well, aren't you godlike, John Taro? Started a week ago and difficulty nine feels easy? Mm. Found something. Well done, bruh. But yeah, there'll be bug orders in future. Right now, the big storyline is bots. So everybody, now beat up John Taro. From now on, he shall be ostracized and isolated for being good at the game. His very existence must be erased from the history books. Well, I mean, he's new, so if he's only been playing a week, then he's probably only experienced the bot orders. Because I don't think the uh, bug, he would have been playing the bug orders at the time, of course. So he'll get us here. So he's like those people that came in during the bug times, and we only had the bug orders. 
I've noticed the bots are also reacting differently to the strategy. Previously, yeah, just as the team appears, they, they get hurt. Yeah? What about oh, now? They only, they, they only move after the objective near your position. Crap, I need to turn off the flashlight. I hate it on this planet. Well, I don't know, Emil. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, final order is. But definitely the bots are getting their time to shine. Hey, Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm enjoying the bot storyline, to be honest. I really want to see how it turns out. How do the fire buffs feel? Uh, well, the fire buffs hurt a lot because the Hulk Scorches will, inst will close to insta give you. So I did mention this in my video, but I think I'm going to have to reshoot my video because uh, now after testing, there's a lot more information that I want to put out to people. Okay. Nope. Alright, you're on the last one. I was going to go down to help, but yeah. Well, Matt Hudson, you, number one, make sure nobody threw back any of the automaton grenades because that causes crashes. The other thing is don't touch any snowballs. And last but not least, make sure your graphic settings are medium maximum. So, if you set your, all your graphics to medium, medium preset and texture quality to medium, you should not have any crashes. Global screen space, illumination, and anti-aliasing turned off, of course. That should resolve most, if not all, of the problems. Right? You gotta nerf the damn lights. I'm telling you, it ain't my it ain't my thing. I'm not much for uh, you know being annoyed about lights and things like that, but I hate the lights in this so much. They are very irritating to deal with. Aw, oh, True Saint, thank you for gifting the membership. Here's a salute for you, man. You got a new member tonight, didn't you? you How's the slugger now? Terrible. I catch anybody using the slugger, I will probably have to adjust your attitude myself. I wouldn't want to have to do that, of course. But yeah, the slugger is pretty much useless. I don't want to say it's useless, but it is useless. Yeah, we already encountered the flying automatons. Just, bl just blast their base. It's no different to Shrieker. Pretty much exactly the same as a Shrieker nest. Just blast their base and, and they'll go away. Woo! Also, the guard dog, and not the rover version, but the guard dog is now your best friend. This thing will get headshots for you. It will literally kill your opponents. It's like they put the soul of pro you cod got player a new in there. Member tonight, didn't you? You should welcome. Them. You've done your duty. You well, Kelmir, you're on the bug side. Why the hell are you hunting bugs, man? You bug hunter? How dare you watch my stream? Go watch a bug hunter stream. No, I'm kidding. But um, anyway, do whatever you like. Although, of course, I would appreciate your assistance on the creek. The creek. The creek. Hopefully that wipes that laser wipes out the base. Okay, heavy automaton outpost is cleared. I'm running for a bit. Oh, you got him. Nice. Yep, killed it. Ion storm. Damn it. I'll wait. I'll wait until I can call you in. Oh, there is another one. Ooh. Oh, come on. I burn after hitting the ground. That's so sad. Hmm. That's painful. Reinforcing. My body will 
Okay, I tried to help them out as much as I can. Uh, Mine is here. Arc feels bad now? Yep. I told y'all. Everything already tested and judged. Oh, this is yours. Yuri, this is yours. I'm going to the next one. No, oh, but I will... Ah. My rover. Oh, well, my guard dog, anyway. Dropping a pin. Southwest. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, pretty good. Alright. Once you got it, then, uh. Ooh. I was waiting until you get it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go. Just spread and manage democracy? Nice. Uh, Leo, the arc thrower, do not use. Auto cannon is still fine. The terminant meta is dead, so... For, at least with the arc thrower, for now. Um, but we'll have to undergo testing for that. So, since there's no terminant order, I'll have to post out a new terminant meta build later. But yeah, for now, the biggest change to the meta is that arc thrower is no longer used. Um, we only use the... We only use the auto cannon for sure. Uh, AMR is currently undergoing testing. So far, it's okay, but I'm still having trouble with hulks. So that is my biggest issue right now, and that still irritates me a lot. Throwing grenade. However, as you can see from the guard dog over here, the guard dog is deadly as frick. So you should definitely use it. Counter sniper? No, we tested it out. It's trash. The counter sniper does way less damage than the jar 5. Same armor penetration, but hard and harder to aim. The jar 5 you can snap around and the aim is pretty good on the jar 5, which makes a lot of difference when you're in the field. So I would say stay the hell away from the counter sniper diligence, unless you really, really want to use it. But as far as I can tell, it's um, really, really pretty bad. So I, I don't like it at all. I'll go drop a resupply behind me. So. Um, Grasshopper, a lot of other YouTubers are wrong because they don't know what the shit they're talking about. Sorry, Yuri, you, you, what were we saying? Uh, I'll go drop a resupply. Okay, that's okay. I'm alright for now. What's S tier for Helldive? Um, whatever you want to use, to be honest. The meta is definitely auto cannon, but just because it's the meta doesn't mean it's the best for you. Test and experiment around it. The meta is just an efficiency selection. There's no such thing as this is S tier and only this will work. No. There's a variety of combinations, so make your own judgments. Dominator is good. And XP... Okay, so Grasshopper, the thing you gotta understand is that, as I mentioned in my video, the most important thing is the mission difficulty and the impact multiplier. If there's like 300,000 players online, at any one given point in time, the impact multiplier is going to be low. Last night, um, there were so few players online uh, toward the end of my stream that we were able to get 9 squad impact doing a difficulty 7 while speed running it. So please take note that the XP matters very little. It's the impact multiplier that matters most. So all these YouTubers saying XP matters and whatever, they don't actually play the game. And this is why you should not watch most YouTubers that aren't me, or else you're not going to learn stuff. Not kidding. I know you support me the most, but anyway, uh, most of these YouTubers talk out their ass. They don't actually verify stuff, so be very careful. Um, I know a good few of them that do buy viewership as well, so... Look, I don't want to say too much, but there's a reason I don't associate with a lot of people in this industry, and I kind of do things on my own. Because I do not want to know these people, and I'm quite certain 95% of them are not trustworthy. A few do, a few are good, a few do experiment and stuff, but um, a lot of them don't actually know what they're talking about. Remember when people said Scythe is S tier? I know, right? Yeah. 
Well, Jermaine, um, I don't think so because for me, the detection range for both races is about the same. Quasar for bugs? I uh, haven't tested. I've been on uh, automatons the entire time, so I cannot comment, but I can certainly say it probably would be useful. Like, based on what I can see. Yeah, according to Yuri, it pops charger heads, so that's useful. The squad impact number is not correct. No, 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 it's, it is correct. It is correct. It's absolutely correct, dude. D did you watch the video that I put out with the link to the Reddit post? Yeah, it's it's not easier. Okay. Uh, let me let me see if I can get the video for you. These guys seem like they're doing fine. I believe it's this one. Give me a second, bit is running. Ah, Nice okay. got it. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the link that Nice posted is correct. Yep, there it is. So, the link that Nice posted, Grasshopper, is the correct methodology. Yep, that's the right one. So the only thing you need to take into account, number one, the difficulty of the mission. Number two is the squad impact multiplier. Because the higher the population, the more likely you're gonna see you're gonna see uh, stuff coming in. Whoa, what is why is there a blue thing on the right hand side of the screen? Thankfully it's only in the game, but yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Thought my screen was broken for a second. Ring. Yeah, I know. I got scared for a second, though. Oh, wait. Correction regarding the charger head. You, it's, it is the obvious weak spot. It is the obvious weak spot. That's right. <laughs> what does it take to shoot down a gunship? Anything. I can use the AMR. See, I just got six squad impact there. And we were practically speedrunning. That was like 12 minutes or something. Oh, 19 minutes. Sorry, yeah. It's even below the mission average that I put up. So... Look, I'll tell you, Grasshopper, you don't have to worry about anything other than player population. High player population, you're going to get a lot of squad impact. Low player population, your squad impact is going to be three whether you're on a hell dive or on a suicide run. In fact, just this morning, I got a nine impact on a hell dive, and you can check the morning stream to see that. Nine impact on hell dive, guess what happened right after? Right after, we got a nine impact on a suicide run because the player population fell even lower. So, you don't have to worry about XP. All right. Anyone say XP matters? Oh my God! XP matters has not tested for themselves. No friendly fire incidents. Because literally well testing for just freaking one hour would have proven Welcome you know aboard, these people Helldiver. were wrong. But anyway, like I mentioned, Grasshopper, all these people they don't want to put in the effort. They will just take whatever information is regurgitated from Discord, and it was the dev that said it. So they'll just take that and say, oh my god, this is the way it is, man. But th th this dev the said it. Literally, I just had like 15 purpose. bajillion comments of people today. The galaxy of alien destroyer has joined I had 15 squadron. bajillion people this today tell me that, oh my god, Allied listen, we must take Tibbet. Because squadron. if we don't take Tibbet, you know, the automatons are going to win. I'm like, yeah, except that we got defenses here to do. So, the hell. You do realize our major order success or failure. And if you look at the dispatch right here... What does it say? What does the dispatch freaking say? Desperate as it is, should this reinvasion succeed, it may jeopardize our ability to destroy the bots in time to prevent their incoming invasion. We fail this major order. You know what's going to happen? The bots are going to invade everything, and they're going to get, like, freaking buffed to, buffed to hell. Are we, am I in the test server? No, dude. I'm right here, in the normal server with the hell, with all of you guys. I ain't got no special privileges. I'm just a normal guy. That's why I. That's why like the information I communicate is whatever is live in the game, not anything from the test server or any of that other stuff. If there are people in the test server, I wish them well. I hope that they enjoy the leaks. If you do one or two missions but don't complete the third, does it count for the operation? No. You must do the full operation, all three missions, if you're doing seven, eight, and nine. They seem to have fixed the misalignment, MD. 
It's actually throwing me off because I was used to the misaligned scope. Now I feel really weird about it. So uh, I think they fixed the misalignment. Yeah, as far as I can tell. Yes, I will have a patch notes video out later. But they did increase the level cap. This patch is all live information, Doku Can. All released today. Boog is getting on. All right. I guess Boog will be joining us as our fourth. Let's see. Um, we're 91% on Malevolent Creek. I think this will be... Uh, yeah, basically AJH. The reason they had to do that is because in the previous situation, what actually occurred was that NA, which has the highest player population, um, you know, completely steamrolled everything. Can I do one mission on 456? No. It's the same no matter what difficulty you're doing. You must finish all the missions in the operation to get any sort of liberation. So, yeah. The civilian defense missions did not get better at Kalmir. At least not for the bots. They're insane. So we're avoiding them like the plague. But, yeah. Um, you must, like, okay. I'll just show you an example while I wait for Boog. Let's say that there are three missions here. You must complete all three. Let's say that there are three missions here. You must complete all three. Let's say for, uh, two missions here. You must complete both of these in order to get your liberation. You must always finish all the missions in the operation to get any liberation. This is why the fastest way to bank liberation is to just do difficulty two. If you do difficulty two, there's only one mission. As soon as you finish it, you'll see yourself getting two squad impact, three squad impact during the really, really bad times, whatever. I've literally got footage of me getting two squad impact on an easy mission so if people say like oh xp matters uh, no it really doesn't the only thing that matters is how many players are online more players less impact less players more impact so this way every time zone regardless of how many people are on essentially can contribute the same but na is still the biggest zone and the biggest contributor so just remember that it's a wig glade as if man look at this nisk what the hell <laughs> the hell you trying to say i got a wig all right now, let me go summon Boog. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Invited. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber okay. tonight. Onto the arcade. Okay, go ahead and set the new record. I'll come over there. Manage democracy calls for aid. Are you not entertained? Flat top. Oh, it's all orbitals. Oh, this one's pretty easy. <laughs> no oh my god. Oh, you're screwed. You're screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Lol. Boog ain't coming. Guess what? His IRL friends are calling him. Oh, guess guess we aren't his IRL friends. Okay, I see how it is, Boog. I see how it is. Alright. Alright. Boo, 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 boo. Nah, 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 nah. I'll remember, I'll remember this, Boog, alright? Next time you say, can I come in for weapon testing? I shall just disregard you. Hang on, wait. I gotta put an angry, angry assy there. There we go. Now on Boog is no longer my friend. <laughs> Denied. You must now suffer eternally. Alright, anyway, have fun with you're your friends, not, buddy. You're not un uninvited to Robot's birthday. Exactly, uninvited, bruh. Oh wait, ew, I don't want to do, I don't want to transmit data. Oh, but the other two have, wait, this, this one is not personnel is evacuation. Oh, it's emergency you evacuation. Have democracy oh, but it's still retrieve valuable data. Hmm. I do not want that. Can I avoid it? No, both of them have retrieve valuable data. Uh, okay, fine, I'll, I'll take the lesser of two evils. All right, guys, let's do the eradicate and retrieve the data first because I really don't want to see them ever again. The robot nation cut. Engaging orbital thrusters. I'm smart as fuck, and no, I'm I'm just normal. I wish I was smart as fuck. What contributes more, high-level missions or low-level missions? If you watch the video, I do explain it roughly. Now, what I explained in that video is a mathematical model, so it's not an accurate or an exact detail like it's not what it, what the calculations I show in there are just an example but basically if you're finishing difficulty two missions in say about five minutes or helping people finish them in five minutes then realistically you're contributing more than you know spending say 
30, 40 minutes completing a full operation on difficulty 7. So. <laughs> Nisk. Yeah. Listen, the Creakers had better say goodbye because I do not want them doing this shenanigans again. Alright, we ain't got no time for their shenanigans. I do not think so, Wolf. I think that um, Tibbet is bait. Because, look, I said this to a lot of people. Help yes, the dev in the Discord said, Tibbet matters. And I really wanted to focus on Tibbet, but did you notice that when we tried to take Tibbet in the morning, the defense on Crimsica was succeeding with 23 people. We had 20,000 on Tibbet, and it was barely moving. I think they don't want us to take Tibbet. Even if we, as a community, hold the focus on it, Joel's just going to throw us into the defense. So... Up to you guys, but I would say I'm probably going to go to Ubenea after Malevolent. I'm not going to touch Tibbet. We could have taken Tibbet. Thank you, Grasshopper. Oh, your orders are there. Are in your oh, wait, what? Ooh. Sorry, he already called in. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying I'm your favorite, Grasshopper. But yes, please do not pay attention to the morons. If you, if you, see, if you see some YouTuber making false claims and, of course, not correcting themselves... Make sure you do not watch their content because I can guarantee you 90% of the time, number one, they're a view buyer, and number two, they do not care about the community nor about you. And that's one of the worst things that can happen because they are banking on the fact that they are the first to post information. So they don't care whether the information is correct, they just want to be the first to post, which happens a lot in this community. So, again, I don't want to start drama on top bad, and that's why I'm not naming names, but a lot of them do this, and I've seen it before. I would hate to see it happen you know, to some of my favorite people in this, uh, in this. Oh, who called down a resupply on my mortar? No! What? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, no. Okay, well, maybe not that funny. Yeah. We've so just lost firepower. Hey, look, oh. there's a hole here. Well, Rena, congratulations on sabotaging the operation. As always, what? this nerd. All right, the poor thing just goes to me instantly. Yep, 100%. Not nah, kidding. <laughs> but where am I? I shall point at Rena because I can. What are you doing there? You didn't remember. Our and our uh, well, I didn't remember that. I was apparently outside the mission area, so I'm traitor. Sorry. Ah, oh, damn! I didn't get to bring any of the artillery. My bad. I was hoping there'd be a traitor barrage on the automatons. Didn't really work. Oh, the armor buff's kind of nice. Well, that's also true, Gus. Actually, that's a really great point. I wasn't thinking about it for a second, but... Apparently, this area is outside the mission area. What? Why is that outside? Oh, man. That's rough. Okay. Uh, throw me down at your side. Okay, I did not realize the other side was completely out there. Yep, thanks. Damn, I know the stairs that hurt me. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come self if you can. Actually, no. <laughs> Kill one of the Devastators. I've got none of my other equipment right now. Got some spear stims? No, please. Hey, hello to democracy! Using okay, you guys to scratch him. <laughs> Damn it. No, you respawn back too because I dropped the reinforce before I died. Hm. Okay. Oh, you got me as well. Lol. I got the last by. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Holy. The missions are now. Bad, yeah, yeah, it's quite bad right now because basically, right, the way to beat the eradicates now. Due to the increased number of devastators, you just gotta keep setting up mortars everywhere. Everybody at separate sides and just slowly kill them. 
Oh, here it goes. Good. Yeah, hopefully my mortar has cooled down enough. If I can just bring them back online, it should be all right. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Okay. You got it. Nice. Oh, I hate the combination for this. Going you in. This is Pelican One, requesting all hell divers to enter the extraction radius. Pelican One, Pelican One has extra points. Wait, what? Hello, robot. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Possibly. Actually, to be fair, when it comes to pronunciation, um, I am terrible at pronunciation. Uh, I like, could I couldn't pronounce Oshane. The Oshaune system. Sorry, I could see. I still can't pronounce it, so I wouldn't bang. I wouldn't bang on them for pronunciation. I called it Osha Hennessy. And how would you know it's Osha Rune though? Unless you heard uh, it. Yeah, you hear it when you travel to the system. It says the Osha Rune system. So. Because I thought it was Oshane at first, then then I heard the AI say it, the machine say it. But then I couldn't pronounce it anyway at first, so I just called it Osha Hennessy. Oh yeah, I'm with the Lord. <laughs> Uh, Crimson Storm, I have no idea what you just said. What would they need to do, in your opinion, so that Helldive became the lost efficient instead of Diff 2? Oh, Helldive becomes the most efficient. Um, the thing is that they need to actually weight the contribution based on XP gain, and not just XP gain. Like, the XP should be mostly, like, you should get 70% of the XP just by doing the primary objective. Side objectives should count for, like, 15%, and the outpost for the other 15%. That way, people can play like whether whether or not they want to do the side objectives or the outpost, it's up to them. So I think that that would be the most crucial thing. Uh, that way, people who want to speed run would also be able to contribute the most. Um, that is the only way I foresee this current system being changed to do that, but other than that, no. It seems to be two is the most efficient. Nice. It could be because of Tibbet splintery, but like Stu actually said, or someone else, but I think it was Stu, can't remember, um, just chat was moving too fast, but I do believe that one of the biggest problems is that we cannot take Tibbet because Ubanea is this only supply line to Tibbet. So if we don't hold Ubanea, we can't even take Tibbet anyway, unless we want to just take the, unless we can literally liberate Tibbet within the time it would take to defend uh, freaking... Ubinea. And yes, that is from Key and Peel. Thank you, Chanel. Here's a salute for you. Alright, let's clear the uh, retrieve valid mission data mission. Super Earth Elite thanks you. It's okay, I know you got butchered by autocorrect. I was thinking I was thinking what you were trying to say, then I got then I got it, you know. The creek better be ours within the hour, or else we're gonna cry. What about here? Yeah, we're dropping in on extraction, clearing everything, because we're fast. We're lightning fast. We're super cool, super fast. We outlast um, the the class with pizzazz. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Do I have a full squad? Yeah, no, I do not. I've got one spot open, but it's for members only. Oh yeah, are you test you're testing the incendiary nades, are you? Hmm. Uh, Gherkin Slat, don't worry. Difficulty 7 is not difficult, my dude. I mean, we die a lot, but that's also because, look, I'm focusing on chat a lot of the time. It's not like I'm focused, locked in and uh, focusing up, so... I would say don't worry about it. Oh, we're already in range of enemy artillery. Lovely. Ah, it's that way. So, don't worry. Don't worry too much. Like, I think you'll be able to do it. Just give yourself the opportunity and chance. Warning, you are in 
Okay, guys. I'll leave you with that artillery. I'm gonna go clean up this. Then I'll head to the uh, objective. Oh, well, let me see. There we go. Times 22. That wasn't this evil yet. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that. Aw oh, man, there's a friendship door over here. Shit. Uh -oh. Dropping a pin. Northeast. There's a hole. Requesting air support. Oh Yuri, did you kill the hole? Oh no, 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 he's still there. He's still there. He's dead. Oh, I was gonna nice. say there's no way the incendiary really took it out. <laughs> Yeah, I love this guard dog rover so much, man. It's so good. It's nice that they both do. <laughs> yeah. It used to be so useless. <laughs> it was. Now it actually restores its own ammo. Does everything. Oh, Red is almost here. Great. I'm using the penetrator as well. He's nice. Oh, yeah. I don't need auto cannon. <laughs> you don't need the auto cannon. Oh, what? I probably still need it for fabricators. I think a backup skin you always kind of. These things are going. Oh, yeah, democracy. you do. That's okay. Listen, nothing wrong with needing an auto cannon. I'm trying to see the actual area where I can shoot this thing to kill it with the jar. So I've done it before. Let's try to get it. Ooh, almost touched the contact mine. Woo. Shouldn't be alive. Alright, let's go. Thank you! Quesadilla cannon's nice, but not my thing. I don't like that I can only fire one shot every 10 seconds. Oh my god, there's two skills. That's okay, I got him. I'm gonna call in a quick resupply. Got it. It's almost directly on the target now, so that's really nice. Okay, heading down to the power point. Whoa. Oh, those are your grenades. No, so I threw them at the bolts. <laughs> oh, there's a tank. <laughs> Where? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Okay, grand. Taken care of. Right. So. I am not your officer. No. Uh, whatever. Okay. I'm not your officer. <laughs> <laughs> the the quasar is good. Don't get me wrong, and it works really well. But I feel that it's it's something that is used as part of a squad, not really like solely by itself. So. Yeah, I don't think I got the f out of the flu, so. Drop Not the good thing. I'm a failure. <laughs> so many freaking scout striders. Get Get ah yes, 500 kilograms of awesomeness. Like, I do like the AMR as well. The biggest advantage being oh, that I don't man. have to have a no, backpack. Damn. Ow. But I hate its effectiveness against Scout Striders, so I may have to swap to Scorcher if I'm going to use AMR. That way Scout Striders won't be a problem and I can just annihilate them. 
Hey, hitting it. Wait, why won't it let me? Hey. Yep, that is tank. If I go around behind it, can I annihilate it? Yes, I can. There we go. Actually, you know, earlier when people asked why it's S tier, right? Yeah. For boss, I think. For boss, S tier is a T. Is a what? A team. ST is a team. Lol. Well, that makes a lot of logical sense. Doesn't the jar pen striders? No. Striders front armor is heavy. Medium slash heavy. So the AMR can wear it down, but not the uh, jar. No. So Scorcher would probably be the best combination with this. And that would probably solve all of the issues that I'm currently having. Because the guard dog takes care of everything, and I mean everything. Oh, glowing yellow thing. This look, the guard dog has a better liberator than we do. So I don't know, it's like a heavy liberator or something. It just wipes out everything. It'll headshot stuff, it's really good. But yeah, the liberator here, this one, has apparently some level of armor penetration. It's really good. Uh, we can take out that tower if we all call in the EATs. Calling down support weapon. I'm gonna call in some now. I'll need one more shot on it though. Okay, great. Three should three should handle it. Oh, come on. Did it, is it because it hit the body whoa, of the whoa, tower? Whoa. Yep. I think it's because the EATs had the too much drop. Okay. Time to distract the tower. It's almost gone. That confirms it. This sucks. Well. Now nah, we just it's never use EATs. Anti <laughs> oh, so you can't call it the anti <laughs> I mean, we're more used to the Quesadilla cannon, so. Woo! What cannon turret hit me? Huh? I'm gonna assume it'd be that one. Thought it just overall. LOL! Yeah, I hate how the cannon turrets are now detecting people. It's so annoying. It shouldn't be doing that. It should oh, look this one's cool. My stuff. Up here on the hill. I was not ashamed of me, anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that does make sense it's over here. Thank you. Ammo? Yep, mm -hmm. and metals, which I do not need. So what do we do about that tower? <laughs> I'm gonna laser it. Uh, unless somebody else has a laser. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, should I drop the AT? I miss the auto cannon so much, but I love the guard dog too much. Oh, I'll drop the AT. Requesting orbital. Firing. I'll test my luck with the first. Oh man, nobody saw me. Fail that throw, okay? I, I do, buddy. Fire! On laser. Oh, come on, laser. Oh, it went over to fight these guys. Damn. Alright. Only one option now. I gotta help oh. them. Oh. I don't know if Gold Dog can save me against this thing. Then my EAT is opening the hole. Holy shit, there's like four or five tanks in there. Yeah, there's one right behind me. Oh shit. Well, hell bomb arm. So, uh. More hell dive was good. So, more. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna throw you far away. No, 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 the top mania. There's a hot bruiser. Uh, I okay. can pop it. Give me this one. Ah, shit. It's not even facing me. I can't snipe it. Oh, I'm dead. Calling in reinforcements. Ah, shit. I just as I was about to throw you, it landed on me. Okay. Dropping item. That's funny. <laughs> Yep, because there's a tank over there. Really? Here comes the eagle. I'm on real. That's okay, I got it. But that was pretty funny. Funky funny. <laughs> Is it worth farming on your own? You absolutely can. You can do easy missions, whatever, but... I mean, better to play in a team, even with randos. They're not too bad most of the time. Most of the time. Well, the detector towers, though. Bull achieved. <laughs> yep. Add a cloaking backpack in future? Absolutely. I would love a cloaking backpack. I feel my dreams of becoming a ghost. What oh god. Just add a police song sound, drop kick a bolt, and start taunting him. Oh Man, with the job you really feel like I start this, just like, pop a bunch of them. <laughs> I should probably oh, use the bolter. The other thing is that, like, I might switch to Scorcher for my loadout, just for the additional... I'm so annoyed with Scout Striders. Like, I like my AMR, but, mm, Scout Striders are a pain. Uh, the Liberator, the Penetrator ones, yeah. yeah. Liberator Penetrator's okay. Doesn't do much. <laughs> Kevin Liu, it could break crates? I didn't know that. Damn. Well, yeah, I mean, it does kind of make sense that they would take that away, but it still sucks. Calling down supplies. Calling down supplies because I'm out of everything. <sighs> I have to the drinking wall. I, so I saw the prompt pop up, but then <laughs> nothing happened. Okay, where is the uh, slot? Okay, there it is. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Lovely. Really? God damn it. Get insta shredded. Uh. Well, at least oh, yes, it's gone now. <laughs> yeah, you got it with the you got it with the orbital rail cannon first. Okay. Give me my AMR. Catch you later. I'll I'll head up. North, far. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Sending in an eagle. Um, no, the gunships you could just AMR them or auto cannon them. They die in about a, sh a single shot. So you don't even have to quasar the gunships. Like just, uh, are you talking about the drone gunships, right? The ones that shoot at you? Yeah, we just we just shoot. Them. There you go. It's a uh, kind of a well, strike and go type operation. Huh. Yeah, the regular guard dock seems to refill by itself, um, but then again, I do take supplies regularly, so I can't tell yet, but at least it doesn't fully run out of ammo now. But yeah, the random scare me? Nah, listen, don't don't get scared by random. You just gotta be brave and go in and do it. Don't be scared, man. I don't know where they're coming from. There was a bot drop, so if you guys want to, you can run. It's okay. Honestly, yeah. Is the railgun still worth running? Nope. 
Railgun's been trash for Dropping package. ever. Package acquired. Uh, ever since the nerf a long time ago, so. Yeah, people have stopped running the railgun. I probably myself. Like, the more that I've run it, the more that I feel it's just inefficient. Because you need a supply backpack to even do anything with it. Compared to this, where I'm just like, you know. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna say I assume the guard dog still runs out of it. Uh, it should. Why is this sitting in my backpack? Reloading! Yeah, what's the resupply? Oh damn! Killed by Marauder there. So I was trying to deal with the Scout Striders using only my pistol. Whoa! I don't know if you guys just saw that on screen. They all just like dropped out of their Scout Striders. What? Well, failed to understand that. Away. <laughs> nah, that's okay. I have to take a slow walk back. Reporting to the front. Oh, here. Okay. Rare sample acquired. Okay, back at it again. There's the hole. Well, now I can probably bomb this. Sending in an eagle. So simple, it's so yep. good. Okay, there is a uh, bot drop coming in. Be careful and do run. Yeah. One for one, one for one. <laughs> I know, right, Kevin? The, the AMR is way better than the railgun right now. Requesting air support. True, Machine Wraith. I agree with that as well. But yes, overall, in my opinion, I. Like, I'm just going to summarize it very simply. I think it's garbage. I think it's literally garbage because by the time it charges up, I can get two or three shots off with the AMR. Like, I actually have to slow my AMR shooting down because uh, I'm so used to the auto cannon, which is slower. Gosh, even if I'm speed clicking, so yeah. I don't know. I just cannot respect the AMR. Uh, sorry, the railgun compared to the fact that the AMR exists. It just makes zero sense to me. Look at that automaton strolling in the sky. Okay, this must be its new power. Jesus. Okay, took a clip. Yeah, you're evolving, bro. Dude, it's inv it's invincible too. I literally I cannot fired. kill it. Package. <laughs> Not quite sure how that's supposed to work right there. Okay. That's a thing now, apparently. Oh, I'm dropping a resupply on the kitchen. I will! But I'm in a wee spot of trouble. Because of how many freaking scout striders there are on this mission. I hate these scout striders so much. The servos are coming. Yep, I know you guys are. Five bullets and bullets are coming. Meet what, meet what, meet yeah, clink, 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 clink. That's the sound of a nuts and bolts. But what me. I gotta say about the uh, AMR that is the only one thing that it can do better than the auto cannon, which is unfortunate, but it can actually. Um, wait, where's the? Oh, there it is. It can actually kill devastators faster, technically, if you get a, if you get a direct headshot on. Dropping package. Shooting out the lights. I hate the lights. Can't see. Yeah, I've tried the diligence and it's still crap. It's so bad in every single way. Like, there's no reason to use oh, yeah, the diligence the when the, the floating robot. Yeah, there's no reason to use the diligence when the jar five exists because you can just use the jar five and it's better in every way. It does double the damage the diligence does. Easier to aim. And my thing is still trying to shoot this guy. I don't know how yeah, this is going to be. Wasting <laughs> oh, it is wasting ammo. Okay. Oh. Wait, move it back. Move it back. Yep. There we go. Thank you. Hello. 
Hello, robot. What is he trying to shoot? I heard you the got a invisible, the tonight. aerial dude. The aerial ace. Oh, a Hello, robot. robot. Yep, I sending it a laser. I got a new subscriber tonight. Yeah, the Dominator is just better overall. It's just so sad. Like, the Diligence Counter Sniper would never be useful for anything. Okay, we're clear. Yes, wipe their browser history and we go. Uh -huh. I think we can skip the big one and just go across the sea. Should be, should be possible actually. Ah, of course. My plan's never go in my favor. Okay, until the gold dog starts shooting. Semi true. Yes. yes. Now, can I make it across the water? They see us on throwing this. They see us. Okay, let's see if I die or. No, 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 it's, it's completely out of ammo now. So it can run out of ammo eventually. Eventually. Being the keyword. Damn, do we land on the same spot? Yeah. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> an eagle. Yes! So, yeah, the guard dog rover can still run out of ammo. Shame. <laughs> yeah. Useful for a lot of things though, and it seems to last quite a while, so before it runs out, so it seems useful overall. At least in my opinion. Perfect time though, we can check whether or not uh, I can supply it. What's up, man? You? Anti air? Mm, shouldn't be. Uh, but key would have One more to one. No, it shouldn't be. It's probably just the sky box. Yep, no. Oh, there was no ammo for me to test there. Yeah, it lasts way longer than it used to. Oh. Yeah, we've shit. all we've all already run oh, into no. the ships. Oh. <laughs> Well, you guys want to just revive here? Yeah. Not like you need samples, right? I agree with you. What have you learned? Too bad. Don't get wet, huh? Yeah, that was a, a lot of idea. Yeah, and I lost my machine gun too. Did you guys drown in the sea? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lol. You, you see, you see where we down on the map where our samples are. It looked like we could swim across, but now that I zoom in, it's actually quite deep. Lol. Based on the color. But yeah, that's not the smallest idea. Damn, I lost the dominant. Uh, well. you can. If you press and hold the R button, you'll be able to see your ammo count in the mag. Damn, damn, it's just damn. that it's not right there, so you have to sort of, like, in the field, you have to count. But when you're inspecting, you can check. Our dog is now ready for combat. Oh, yeah. Does the jar have a slight bullet drop? Super Earth's finest, back in action. Make it dark. There yep. we are. Yep. Okay, good to know. Oh, 
Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. No. <laughs> Where did he shoot that from? I can't even see him. Um, behind the hill. So I do not. Yeah. It is cheap and it's oh. about what I expect. There you go. Let's have a laser. I love how janky the animation looks when the, when the uh, dropship is gone. The thing is too bad. What? They got the dropship and still? Oh. oh man. The tank is uh, doing some specky shit that you only see in the Fast and Furious movies. There's another tank, by the way. Yeah, it's over there. Okay. Silver arm. There we go. Ooh, nice drop. Yeah, exactly. So usually I just count. I just count my bullets. And there's another one, by the way, right over there. That works. That plus EAT seems to have done it. Time to use my freshly armed. Well, yes. Game did. Unless you want to throw something. Okay. Oh, so. nope, I didn't see the explosion, so. <laughs> no, it's not a good one. It's Okay, let's go. Good, I'm glad the creek's ours. Yeah, I had to learn how to count bullets with this. I'm running a RTX 3080, John Taro. The Blitzer, I'll try tomorrow. Against bolts? Well, if it's what people want to see, I don't mind. But I'll probably do it in the morning when I have some idea. Because I've already tested so much today and I just feel sick of testing. Now I just want to rework out the meta because Arkthor is feeling... Mm. Arkthor is feeling stanky. Thirty-five meters is just not enough, man. At least I feel that way. Against box, I guess this one is not definitely not this close. Yeah, that's my only issue. Many sacrifices were made today. We will never okay. forget. Yes, float away, Rena, float away. How many hours do I have? Um, uh, I should be close to three hundred now. Okay, last one, emergency evacuation. Help us try. <coughs> Time to finish up on the creek. Oh, no, it's not the, it's not the difficult one. It's the normal one. Uh, hot drop. There. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hot smoking. Yeah, me too. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mar, Guard Dog. No, where is Recall? Skircher. Offense. <laughs> and my tactical armor, which is pretty good, but not great. I'm going to swap back to Engineer Set. So I can become Jabba Fett.
dude, why am I still bloody in the in the drop pot? Lol, yeah, <laughs> lol, horror oh. show. New level cap is 150. And uh, Jimmy, it's because the level cap was raised. That's all. So all the XP that you collected before will just get thrown into you. So now. I'm a galactic commander at level 97. I feel pretty good, you know? I feel pretty yeah, galactic. Aren't you 69? No, it's you. Oh, okay. I'm 63 now. Yuri's got the perfect number, now he cannot level up. Yep, time to quit the game. <laughs> time to quit the game, lol. Say hello to democracy. Let's see how good the centurion is. Oh, drone, 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 drone coming in. Drone ship is coming. Objective critical strategy available. Shoot it. Objective critical strategy no longer available. Oh, yeah, the tower is just right there. Uh, where's the tower? Oh, right, right in front of us. <laughs> oh, oh, shh. She won. I'll, I'll hit it then. I don't have any oh, equipment yet. So. so, if I do want to recall this to the list. Put the underbelly over and then. Sure, I mean, you try. No, it, it, it seems to work. One recall was under and then uh, two school shots. Oh! Sorry, one spicy rocket got, got, got me. The Not the fabricator. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to get to the fabricator. Just throw me near there if you can. I don't have any equipment anyway, so. I should have dropped you now. Yeah, yeah, you should have. That's okay. You have to hill ball move. Yep. And I will. Uh, in a moment. Apparently, I can throw the hell bomb here, so it should work. Ooh, spicy. Seconds long. There we are. Okay. Lovely. That was close. Calling oh, down a support ooh, they might <laughs> just as I say that. In between the Even legs. Yeah, but sometimes it's inconsistent. So that's the only that's the only difficulty I had with it. There's another bot facility as well, so that's... I'm trying to see if there's anything that you can... You take the repulse. You, you, you take my outfit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Wait. I did... The drone facility is dead, right? Yeah. Okay. In the last room, uh, I shot it down. I was just wondering why it was still like existing on my screen. Anyway. Bot fabricator, northwest, three hundred meters. Another one. Yeah. Dropping a pin, northwest, one hundred meters. Right, and then more oh, artillery artillery as well. Okay. Yeah. AMR seems to now take like uh, two shots. I'll take it to supply. 
Uh, of course. Um, enemy artillery is right next to it. It's just somewhere next to it. Yeah, there. Parking location. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's what I tag. I'll do it. What? Oh, that's so lucky. It's actually so lucky. What are the chances of it? It's okay. Um, artillery is there. Ooh, there's a tank. Oh, I'm really getting screwed out. Okay. I'll head to the artillery and deal with it. I've got a laser. It should work. Laser doesn't work against the facility. Orbital inbound. Uh, no, I haven't tested against the facility, but I'd rather use it on the. Uh, no, sure, no, sure. No, sure. Oh. Nah, I use it on the artillery. Get rid of that emplacement. Have a taste of democracy. Damn that rock is in my way. Do I think the arc thrower nerf is warranted? Uh, pretty much, yeah, because. It was kind of the big pick for terminates. Like it was That's a very, it was a very solid yeah, huh? pick for terminates. And it kind of. I don't have the auto kill. I can go to the battle. Okay, Jeez. I'll take it out. I cool. should be able to get it. Okay. Dangerous one. AMR doesn't Northwest. work on its. Scorcher oh. works. Scorcher works. Yeah, maybe scorcher maybe works. I just now I tried with the scorcher, but where did you shoot it? The engine. Underneath. Generally. Hmm. I've got to try and find the exact spot to kill it. If you want, you can wait for one more spot. No, not at all. I'm just gonna get in there and hell bomb the facility. I know the AMR can't do shit terminal. to it, which annoys me a bit. Hell bomb arm. Hell bombs Clear arm. That annoys me. I'm gonna throw a supply toward you guys. Calling down supplies. Because I need some. You know, scorcher definitely works if you shoot under the water shippers. Underneath, yeah. The, okay. building, yeah. Yeah. the glowing oh, red yeah, belly, yeah. yeah. That made sense to me. Okay, I'll leave you guys here to kill most of the things. Oh, bot drop shit. Okay, I'll stay. Where? Uh, there, apparently. I'll go to the objective. Dropping a pin, southwest, far. Dun, 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 dun. Arc is no longer meta for terminates and definitely not for bots. I have not had great success using it. The big problem with the one second charge is mostly how many enemies can swarm you. Combined with the shorter range, it's not so good. If the range was maybe nerfed by 5 meters, I would have understood, but the 15 meter nerf, nerf to the range was quite severe and uh, it has brought a lot of problems in my opinion. Now again, I leave it up to each individual, you know, what they uh, feel about it, you know, and how they want to...
I think that now personal taste is going to really be important with this one because um, for some folks, if they enjoy the Arc Thor style a lot, it might be really good and might still remain very good for them. But if you don't particularly enjoy the Arc Thor style or you were just sort of borderline about it, you know, no real, uh, like you didn't main it, like I think that would probably create issues. Just because of how it feels now. Objective critical stratagem available. These cannon turrets now see you from any distance. It's so annoying. Oh, is that what that was? I saw something fire. Where is it? Uh, the one that I'm dealing with is right here. I'm gonna go around behind it. Found something. Oh, damn. It's under an open one. Still going. Hey, super credits. Stims. And lots of ammo, which I needed. What would I run for terminates? I'll have to test. I cannot tell you guys something without having tested it. And right now, obviously, we are focused on the bot orders, so... Um, I will let you know as soon as I can test against Terminates, but... For now, that is my issue. I cannot, uh... I cannot test against Terminates just yet. Oh, yeah. Lol, whoever downed the dropship right there, bots are still alive. That was amusing. I got the oh, what the hell? <laughs> what? There's a hope behind it. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, I didn't see that. It's dead now. Engaging terminal. Since it was stuck, I could just oh. adjust its attitude. Yeah, I didn't die that time. I got the terminal. Oh. 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 Yep, the creek is liberated again. I'll assess the next order after this. Okay, Ion Storm. Wait, do we call down supplies? No, right? No, no, yet. That's okay. Let's go away for the storm. No, no, I'm just curious to see, like, if this thing will last if I just pick up ammo. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Spicy rockets, really? Was now really the time, huh? is completely out of ammo. I want to test if I pick up an ammo drop, will it help? Uh, it will, it will. <laughs> How much did I Like the ammo... Oh, I think like two. No, it didn't. Two. Unfortunately. Yeah, the Guard Dog Rover only restores from supplies. Ooh, super credits. Okay, I'll call that that. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely <laughs> Uh, I would still prefer the Auto Cannon Glade. By the way, get in there. You can fill up the last spot and take the place of a rando. Because we'd have one anyway. 
Okay. We can move. Railgun still good against bots? Eh, no. Nah. Railgun has actually been useless for quite some time, but I think the auto cannon is still gonna be the big, the big cheese because it can do so much. Like the AMR is good, don't get me wrong. I'm loving the buffed AMR, and I think that um, it is a very, very strong choice. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. But for me, the big, the big deal is that it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and with the auto cannon, I've got a lot more options. For dealing with fabricators, hulks, all that. I missed my stun grenades, so yeah. It should still reach a Bile Titan, but you can no longer stun the Bile Titan, so dealing with the Bile Titan is going to have to be with uh, other techniques. Be careful. That help. He's safe. Okay, good. Why does this facility look different? Uh, there Objective it is. Located. Southwest. Is the Citizen Edition worth gathering? Up to you. If you want to support the devs, get it. If not, you don't. You won't miss out on anything much. But make sure that you don't already have the Steel Veterans uh, War Bond. Otherwise, not really worth it to you. So that is my honest feedback. I'd say get it if you really want. Uh, the other button's over there. Okay, Those got it. Tank. No! Damn, we got there first. Oh, look, you didn't press the button. <laughs> the stalwart medium MG is a no-go versus bots. The medium MG will work because it's got medium armor penetration, but the stalwart, no. Stalwart is generally considered very, very poor. It's okay against Terminates, but even then, it's still not as useful. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Coolio. Yep, touching thing first. Oh, I hit it dead on. Nice. What would I combine as a primary with the medium MG? That's up to you, man. I don't use the medium MG, so I wouldn't be able to say. Uh, I find the medium MG so useless in general that I don't like it. Like it's okay, but it's not my it's not my style, so I don't use it. Um, I would say you probably want something with that can supplement it. So maybe something like the Jar Five, which is a really strong weapon right now. The Jar Five would probably be a good choice. In my honest opinion. By the way, as you can see, Glade, the biggest thing is that now they instantly call in, so as soon as uh, you engage, you have to kill all the little guys, which is really difficult to do. And also not exactly smart plan. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, getting beam. Ah, damn it. That's what I get. That'll be that'll be for you guys more than me now. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Where's over there? Oh, Hello, why robot. is there? A I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. As a whole, host them. <laughs> Lol. There's another one over there. We might have to just book it. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. No, you should. Ready to yeah. liberate. Go ahead, run. Go to the south. Yep. There's some deniers who said, oh, the automatons got nerfed. I think they forgot that the Devastators just got more and more of them. But at least they weren't buffed. I don't know. Feels normal, though. This feels about how it normally feels. Except in dicey situations. Then. I'm just, I'm just uh, cut about the arc thrower, though. That did not feel good. Location. Careful that. Southeast. Calling in extraction. Extraction shuttle inbound. It is how it is. Requesting advanced weaponry. So you're using your tools? Yeah. Freedom I feel like I'm holding it. What I'm home with it, yeah, see when I, when I swapped a view with the water can, so, hey. Back to where it is. Mm -hmm. No more Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa cannon? There's no way he got stuck. No. He got it. Did he? Yep. Yeah, did. That's okay. Some random outpost done to. They could be. They could be. But we shall see. Yeah, this is a free recoil list here that I pulled down. <laughs> free recoil list? Wow! Thing is, you can kind of do the same with Jar Five. And Convo Breaker, no. AMR still two shots on Hulks. And Slugger Stagger Devastators, uh, apparently not really.
Okay, let's go assess the war situation now. I'm satisfied with some of the weapons tests, but overall I still think the auto cannon will be the go-to. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. I don't know, haven't tested against bots, Hello, but robot. honestly God, I, heard I would say stay away tonight. from the slugger. Just go ahead and use the jar five, which would be a lot better. Yeah, you can use the burst fire on the jar five if you want. Whoa, we all blow, dude. Yeah, it's the new change. Okay. The AC is definitely the best, but we do have to. I do actually have to test the arc thrower in more detail. <sighs> I guess I'll do one round with it. This time with the shield, because I wasn't using shield before. Have to give up my guard, Dogarino. Against the boss or the bots? Bots. Not against the bugs. Okay. Uh. Tibito. Uh. Ubenela. Everyone's there already. Forget it. Don't need to think so much. This operation will fuel the Retrieve essential personnel. Hell no! Retrieve essential personnel. Hell no! Retrieve essential personnel. Hell no. Let me see. Surely one of these will not have it. Aha! Aha! I'm smart. On oh, hell dive. Oh my god. Nah, we'll be fine. I think. A little bit. Whatever. But no, there's one that's level eight without it. So this one. This one doesn't have it. Okay, we'll start with the Eradicate. That's the new change. Uh, once you finish up the mission, you'll be covered in blood when you come back. Yeah, I agree, Jacob. Like, I'm not... I'm not super into it, but, you know, I gotta try. I gotta try, man. We need to shower in a ship, don't we, Chris? But yeah, there's a blood update. Y'all want to blast inside? You can. I'm going to blast from the outside. Just oh, don't destroy my mortars. Uh. 80 millimeter? Yes. Sir. Yeah, you can. Just don't throw it on my stuff and I'll be happy. I wonder, have we gotten any new stratagems in game? Any new upgrades? We should check after this. Yeah, they said they fixed the spawns. They didn't. I tried it on difficulty 5 and got smoked instantly. So, yeah, nah. We're gonna avoid that like the plague. But you can yeah, test you it out for yourself. Yeah. Say, if you drop all your mortars in a, in a small area, I'll drop the shoe generator on top. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. You will, the, the update basically made it so the blood is permanent. Well, I'm going to the other side. Later, haters. Don't drop shit on my mortars here. Oh, you really might want to get out of there. Look at it, there's three mortars here. Orbital inbound! I don't think Tony wants to be in Oh, this one's. Dude, that Devastator just literally manages to get like a higher position to shoot me. Okay, buddy. Um, 
stall of the movie as well. I want to see myself cool. Yep, yeah, Obi-Wan did indeed teach us the value of the high ground. That's why I'm so upset all the time. Damn it. Yeah. That Devastator beamed me with four rockets. Sorry, Bells. Let me go jar his ass as soon as I'm back. Now. Where were we? Not today, pal. Oh, what's that? You lost your head? Yes, yeah, what I thought. Nerd. A silver shoes in the room. Yeah, I told you. That's why that's why everyone's abusing them right now. You they will in fact cool down and you can call in more and they'll still be there. They last longer than any other turret in the game right now. So oh, once the walls can lift. <laughs> yeah, drop it around here so I can. can you uh, in a little bit of trouble. Hold on. Oh crap, I think we more than one century. That is OP. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's cool. Who animated these? That was sick. Thanks. It's gonna wear all to it, yeah. That's okay. I respect that. The cover it provided was good enough. We're clean. You may with honor. Well, that oh, was nice. Right. This wasn't Fraggle team. <laughs> Working? Not as well as I would have liked it to, but it's nice too. Hey, listen, nice is still pretty good. Oh, here comes the fool. Oh. He's about to show me his big, big flame throw. What if that sounds so sus, man? Also, I just feel like my eating never went off. Good, actually, I'm glad I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't get rid of this place. Taking forever to do it. That's okay. It's dead now. Oh, 380's going off. You guys ready? Because I'm crawling in. Okay. But yes, I'm in uh, difficulty 8. Oh. Oh! Shit. I'm so sorry, I didn't see you guys die. <laughs> My bad. So many things went wrong in that one second.
Damn. You killed my buddies. Give me a second. There we go. All right. There, that should stop messing. Thoughts on the Ark Thor post changes? Uh, it's okay. Not great. I the charge rate really messed it up, but at the same time, like, well done. It is what it is. Lol, Rena swimming around the ship. Um, it's hey, I'm clean, decent. Yeah. Lol. Well, aren't you lucky? Okay, next is Emergency Evacuation. I'm not liking the new arc, though, but I am gonna give it a fair go, test it in the field and all that. Ultimately, I need to be able to say for certain whether it's gonna be decent or not, but yeah. We'll speedrun it, yeah, so I'm hot dropping. Um. I do feel that it has potential and it's kind of good, but I mean the stun at least is kind of good, but at the same time it really does suffer against a lot of targets. So um, for me, for me at least it's a hard sell. I'm going front line with all the anti-heavy stuff. The range reduction is a bit weird. Auto cannon is mostly what we use now. Telepod launch initiated. But yeah, definitely a hard sell for me. Because as much as I want to like it, the range is the, is the big problem. Oh my god! Literally just slightly off from this guy. You know what? Just die. Just die. Remember this. Every day is a good day to die for democracy. Okay, anyone got a. We got a laser for that tower later. Ooh! Ooh, what is this? They landed right on me. Jesus. You know what? Y'all have to Have fun. No, I have stone nades. I'll save this in the area for later. You have stun nades? I just have stuns. Oh, this is your pack. There you go. <laughs> oh, where's my pack? Oh, thank you. Oh, what off the bat? They're just throwing everything at us now. Oh, yeah, kind of figured that. I haven't even pulled the auto count yet. Yeah. Well, thanks to Sunday, I might be able to get the Hulk for you. Okay. I stand correct. I'm out of stun moves. I got the Hulk for you. Boy. But they dropped a whole lot more. I'm out of stim, so I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh god! So you, you both call to defend this place, I'll defend the floor. Oh, come on. Oh, I dropped the Nistro? It's not dead. It's not dead. The Arc Thor being able to stun a Hulk is nice, so this is the only good thing about it. But everything else, not so good. I called down Stims back at the uh, objective area. No, I see. Later. I'm trying to help clear the area. Yeah. The detector tower is dead. I'm gonna take one of these. No. Okay, that's alright. I'll try and at least do the objective and then head up there. Oil. 
Is the new Dominator better than Scorcher? I'd say there's some strengths and weaknesses to both. Scorcher has a lot less recoil, easier to control, and can kill Scout Striders because of the explosive damage. The Dominator cannot, but the Dominator has a lot of damage going for it. So, do take that into account. There's a gem, what's in? Okay, y'all can clear the jammer. I'll be there soon. Clear that. We'll hold the towel soon. Yep, that'll happen. At least it's done now. Super ragdoll, not just ragdoll, super ragdoll, damn. It's gonna die. Oh no! No. Oh. He got beamed to death by the heavy devastator. Yeah, it happens. That was roughly what I expected. Call one in if you need to, because I think we yeah, the the old ones don't do. There should only be one there though. Yeah, otherwise you can call a new one down there. Absolutely. Okay. Objective located. Gonna head north. Never mind. Dropping a pin. North, 200 meters. The damage on the Dominator is very, very nuts. Defender or Liberator Penetrator? I mean, Defender is worth it if you want to go Ballistic Shield build, which is okay, I guess. I mean, that's really a personal choice, so... Okay, I'm almost to the objective. I shouldn't have brought an anti-heavy loadout. What was I even thinking? Next time I'll just bring the eagles. Tower doesn't let its intrusive thoughts win. I'll show you if I can. One shot. Engaging terminal. I'm gonna try if it doesn't work. Out. Okay. There we go. Okay, hatch open. Was it? He said he shot it before. Oh yeah, I saw. I saw another shot. Ooh. I tried to call the people and I them just then. Yeah, 
It's the Illuminate, man. And those cloaked ships. And all of them are attacking. What? This patrol is so pissed off at you guys, and it's far away, too. Yeah. That was the bullshit. <laughs> oh. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I just popped all the way behind us. At least the Arctor now stun shit. I saw a piston more for you, didn't come here. There's a patrol ahead of us. We might want to avoid that as best we can. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. There's a cannon tower that is very, very angry. There. Don't know what I did to it, but it doesn't like me. No, you did to it. You, you existed. <laughs> yeah, over 100 meters. It's so weird. Drop it wipes all life forms, <laughs> including me. Soon. There's bot drops just coming down over at this area. I have no idea why. So what happened? I didn't even see a flu. I don't know what happened. I didn't see a flare, and it's literally impossible for any of this to be pissed off. Yeah. Oh, I killed a Hulk. I'd say the new Arc Thor is great at close range, but. Uh, Oh, it is. Oh, I must have Yeah, just waiting for Rocket Boy to shoot his shot. To your right as well as a couple of them. Oh. Okay, as long as they're not pissed off. They're not just. Then you know in case they somehow get aggro and just start firing at you. Uh, so far they haven't done anything oh. yet. Hey, nice. Got a sample. Sample acquired. Looks like things sample so my career stats. Oh. But yes, the Arc Thor now stuns on every hit, which is really good. Okay, time to make my way back up. Oh, what's chant at this fall? No, it's not. Nope, it is jammed at this fall. Come on, man. That's new. I do, however, have to get used to the non-fast charging. By the way, there's a friendship door here. Anyone near me? Oh, G Blade is here. Yep. It's too slow to notice. It's me, you're dead. Ha. Oh, a friendship is faster. Okay. Super creds. Oh my god, that's a thing. Oh, well, we're told to jam, so. Yeah, bro. Because there's no way you're surviving that. Oh, there's a radar station here too.
elbow this one. Okay. I'm uh, trying to see how long I can. it takes me to arc this uh, shredder tank to death. Oh, there's a hole. Get away from me, Shredder Tank. Not like this. Woo. I can't see you, you can't see me. Ow. Lol, nice job, Glade. Survived! Oh, there's two Hulks. Okay. Unsurvived. Oh, they're shooting me from the fall. I don't know, buddy. 180 meters. <laughs> that is what That's it is. Well, I'll ping out the mob that's shooting at me. <laughs> that one more roll. Hey, Stims, my god, thank you. What's the recommended loader for automatons? Auto cannon, dude. Everybody's running auto cannon. I'm trying out some of the other loadouts. They're okay, but not that great. Results are not that good. Um, Arc Thor can still be used. It will stun targets really well, but because of the limited range on it, you have to be kind of very careful with how you use it. So that I think is the biggest issue here getting used to the because uh, the charge time is now one second across the board you cannot fire it early so you have to get used to the new pattern and more importantly is yeah Quasar is the auto cannon with delays yes and no because the auto cannon can fire rapidly 10 times in, su in succession the quasar however has way more armor penetration so <coughs> the quasar fulfills a very different role Heavy. gonna take this guy out but as you can see with the Arc Thor, one interesting thing is that you can literally stun enemies, including a Hulk. So from a short distance, it does way better. And you can stun lock your foes until they die. Um, so this is, I guess, something that would be considered really good. But at the same time, the reduced range, now it's 35 meters only, is a bit difficult to handle. Um, and a bit tougher to utilize properly in the field. The stun lock is very strong, so would it still be meta against the automatons? I wouldn't say it's meta, but I would say it's still a very competitive loadout. It's definitely something that gives me a lot of choices, to say the least. I think the arc stun lock will definitely show its strength with bug swarms now, because being able to stun lock the bow spears. I feel that it's still going to be the meta for Terminids, um, but maybe not for Automatons. You, Just remember the new range and the new charging time. But I find it difficult that any, like, to believe that anyone can suck ass with the auto cannon when it's very straightforward. I mean, I you can suck with it on bugs, but not against bots. Against bots, it's very good. That's pretty much correct, Perfect Death. Excuse me. I sort of agree with that because the stun locks are really quite useful. Like, I'm genuinely finding them quite awesome. Well, that's true, but the stunlock enemies literally don't shoot back either because they have no opportunity to do so. And considering it can stun a Hulk, that's pretty big. So, I wouldn't say it's totally useless. I feel I felt that it was really dead, but I think on normal missions like this, it could kind of be useful. But you would still have to absolutely run tanker style with shield and be very careful about how you fire. You're also going to need a weapon for distance. So having a proper weapon for distance is going to be crucial, I feel. Alright.
Okay, Gallade is called in the last. Let's go. Dropping a pin. Stop. 300 meters. Let's get out of here. I don't want to spin into the second on this planet. Hmm. Not the sickle. You need a powerful so, weapon for long distance, I should probably say. You may extract when ready. So, my honest advice would be definitely bring something that can uh, stop your foes. Calling in an eagle. I'm just gonna go bomb this for a second. Let's take an example of this, right? I was off the stun for one second, and immediately the Hulk started attacking me. So, the stun locks are strong, but not as strong as people would like them to be. Oh, maybe Damn, oh. sorry. No, it's not you. I got killed because I can't get up to the missile. Taping Roger so much. I'm trying not to arc you through the smoke. But again, I guess with such a short range, it shouldn't be a problem. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Ah, uh, yeah. That is kind of true. Uh, since the base is done... Okay, wait. Okay, coming to help you. Oh, he's he's armless. Give him a damn still. Okay, he's clear. Hey, can you run the man? So, so stupid. I know, buddy. What primary is better at range? Um, Jar 5. There's a lot of good options. Okay, they see us. Oh! Oh my god, there's the walker! Shit! Okay, new Titan. I've got a... I've brought everything for just such an occasion. Holy crap! It took three of them. Damn! Okay, new walker deleted. Oh yeah. Probably would have one shot at the two of us. What's the point? It's probably not the wisest reload, but it doesn't matter. I'd say the jar five is good. Helps a lot. Oh, practice a cannon to it. For me, the biggest thing is just being able to, um, just genuinely being able to survive with the stun lock. So the arc though is still decent. You know, I correct my stance on it. I said it was dead, but maybe not. Maybe not 100%. Shit, Marco went somewhere. But it's definitely gonna require some uh, adjustment. These guys coming in. ETA T minus one minute. 
jetzt da drüber oder so. Okay, wir kontrollen nichts mehr, gut. Yeah, you can't do cause crashes. can somehow remove the heavy devastator shield which is interesting Oh, I'm gonna assume he ran away. Oh, that's one way to do things. Alright, family. You know what to do? Alright, here is on. Let's go. They killed the AC? You mean the air? The auto cannon? How did they kill it? It's still there. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Yeah, AT and T add out at the extract. Damn. I'm using the Jar Five sticker bars. Jar Five Dominator. It's very good. I mean, I saw he had a shredder tower on top. Mm -hmm. No idea how he's supposed to kill it. Another cannon. Oh, <laughs> real cannon. Look through real cannons. <laughs> It's even more than a Bal Titan. Bal Titan only takes two. This guy was just like, you know what? I'm a survive. Yep. This new enemy. Hmm, I'm not looking forward to the Hive Lord. The Hive Tyrant. Yep. The Hive Tyrant's just gonna butcher us. Isn't Sickle better for long range? It's light armor penetrating. Most automatons medium. So you and there's more Devastator spawns now, or so they say. Um, so I think you're gonna want the Jar Five. Arctor? Yeah, the Arctor is a bit iffy, but, you know. Yeah, the Sickle is good, but the Jar 5 got a major buff today, about 50% overall increase. Okay, thanks, thanks for that in front of my screen. Appreciate that. Good job. <laughs> Alright, last mission, last mission. Let's finish this out and bank our liberation for Ubenea. Let's go retrieve the data. Hellpods Prime. Yep, Creek is 100%. We're all on Ubenea now. Because, mostly, not because I agree with the plan, but, you know, um, I'm pretty sure that this is all we got, so. Yeah. Synchronized. What about here? What about here? Give me a second. Here? What about here? There's people here? fighting in the comments in, in on my Twitter and I find it funny. <laughs> what about here? I'm amusing. Here? I'm amused by here? it, sir. Here? Jesus Christ! Hey, here? come on! What, what the here? hell do you mean just here, huh? I'm coming! Okay. Rail cannon strike is now my friend. Um This and this. Do I go with stuns or not? Yeah. But yes, the creek is at 100%, so we're all just bumming around we've been at right now. Just swimming there. Hellpod launch initiated. people are commenting on this morning's stream. I think they're at the wrong stream, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Come on, let me squish this thing. The fate of all so. humanity's children are in your hands. Good Do sir. 
dear sir or ma'am. Ah, Reno Bulls is cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I did not hear that. I, I literally heard Rena Dwarf fall asleep. I was like, what? <laughs> you fell asleep? Lol. Oh, uh, Jam, I should probably be the first thing. Oh, yep. Smack that jammer. I'm assuming they won't call in a bot drop, so. I'll handle the terminal. Oh, that's a fab. Damn, did they call in a bot drop? Okay, over there. That's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that, chat. It's uh, Ubenea, I think. And it is a free EAT, Ubania. yeah. Sorry, bro. Ubania? I mean, no. The only person I will ban is Ubenea. Uh, Ubenea. I think it's Ubenea, right? It should be. If I'm should wrong, be, then. The yeah. Gypsies. Yeah, I follow. I usually follow what the ship says, so. The Oshaunes. Oshaune, or whatever. Or Oshak Hennessy if you want to go with my style. This is in the gym? Oh, it's not. Dude, their flag is blocking my bullets. How does that make sense? It's literally a flag. Probably made of cloth. Made of to democracy. <laughs> Are you struggling to hit that one guy? <laughs> Yeah, because like for some reason, right? I was trying to jar five him, and it's like it's like oh, almost like he didn't even come out of the door. So like even if I was shooting at him, it wasn't working. I was like, what the hell? Just a problem to touch them. Yeah. I just need to hold. Oh, there's a fabricator attached to it. Nice. Yep. That's good. Awesome. Good job. Not to do the worst. <laughs> Auto grenade! Yeah. That I went in. My one fabricated kill. Going around the mountain. It's okay, I respect the slight ragdoll. Requesting air support. Uh, they've got a jinx. So they're from. Requesting air support. Sending in the orbital. Come on. I think now you have to fire the arc door in first person because the f without the fast charge, every shot needs to count, so it's pretty hard. Okay, Gallade is almost there. Okay, so. 
Uh, I think they're just randomly on the map. So far, I haven't seen, thankfully, a dropship dropping the AT AT. Because, uh. You blocking my sight. I saw I got to it first. Package acquired. Nah, 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 nah. Can we clean out the extraction Tagging first? Map northeast, uh, we meters. can. If you want to. I'm going... I think we should clean out the detector tower. Destruction's along the way. <laughs> Yep. Nope. Oh. Bot drop detected. Detector tower, I think. Should be around us. Yep. Yep. Damn, poor Galley died. Calling in reinforcements. There should be everyone in extraction. Ooh, got ragged off. Nice work. Iron Storm in Package progress. Fired. Objective located. Northeast. Have a taste of democracy. Yep. Yeah, going there now. Reloaded. They had a range of sweep. I got this. Oh damn it. <laughs> Sad. What's up, bot? Don't the hill bomb this one. Can the spear one shot the gunships constantly? Yes, it can. Ooh, my butt cheeks just clenched. How did I not see those mines there and how did I not die the entire time? Explosive resist. Does counter diligence still have? No, it's still an awkward weapon to use. We tried it earlier. Um, it is so bad that as soon as somebody tried to use it, everybody died. So no, I'm just kidding, but uh, honestly, it's it's literally the ugly barnacle of this game. So it's bad. How is that not capable of killing that little guy? What the? Jeez, okay. Calling in orbital strike. That's four dropships just for those. Five dropships with a tank, two tanks. <laughs> and all my stuff is on cooldown. What a joy. Four. Thank you for shooting your stone blood. Doing my best. Just toss me on. Can't stun the tank though. Crazy. That whole car. Ah! Okay, you know what? Actually, arc throw is pretty alright. It does require some effort, but it's pretty alright. Like I can't say it's bad, bad, you know. The slugger nerf is, yeah, pretty bad now. 
Auto cannon is untouched, yeah. It's probably one of the most balanced weapons in the game. Oh, I alerted the patrols. I'm so sorry. Ooh, I need some tools. I don't know. Stun lock, the stun lock door is pretty good. I have to admit. Dropping baggage. Yeah, yeah. Super Earth's finest. Uh, the arc door can stun lock everything up to a Hulk, but not a tank. And obviously not the Adat. Dropping baggage. But Hulks will be stun locked, yeah. Package acquired. It's just the range now is an issue in the charging because we're so used to firing it early. So I, I keep letting it go early, which slows my overall kill rate with it. Dropping package. So I keep letting the charge disappear. Package acquired. You're glad they tweaked the evacuation mission? I don't think they did. You can try for yourself, but we tried it on difficulty 5 and died horribly, so yeah, no. Nah. The anti-material rifle was always viable, but now it's even more viable, so it's definitely a good choice, but, you know, there'll be strengths and weaknesses to it. Um, I feel that between that and the autocannon, the autocannon still holds the key performance indicators. Like, it can take care of fabricators at a distance, do objectives, I don't know, it still feels like it does a lot more than the, uh, than the AMR, so for me, that's a, that's a thing. That's one of the things that I would say matters a lot. Please activate the transformer. What? Oh, this is the wrong place. Damn. Dropping a pin. Northwest, 100 meters. Well, Can I follow one? you guys here? <laughs> Lol. That's because we're just badass, bro. Okay, heading over there. At least it's just nearby. Mm hmm. Yep, the AMR has always been good against bots, but uh, the autocannon still holds the top, in my opinion. In my personal opinion. Damn, you annihilate them fast? Leave some for my stun gun, man. Okay, we got about drop where? And why? Oh, what the? This guy just teleported. They tend to do that, yeah. All ships. Yeah. Oh, let's go ninjas. Engaging terminal. So, Captain McSwagger, I feel that the Arc Thor, at first I thought it was unusable, but realistically speaking, if you're playing my tank or loadout anyway, number one, you will be at relatively close range because you're drawing fire. So as long as you're aware of the 35 meter range, um, you can now stun lock because they increase the stun of the Arc Thor so it stuns everything up to a halt. Um, so being able to stun hulks is pretty valuable, to be honest. If you have somebody already doing arc, uh, auto cannon on your team, the arc door can be pretty viable. But if somebody's not, then it's painful, to say the least. Let me give you an example. See these berserkers, right? Once I hit them with the arc door, they sort of get stunned and cannot attack. They will still be able to move forward, uh, which is pretty normal for this game. This game's weird mechanics, but. Go. It's high noon somewhere in the world. Thanks, Bum. Thoughts on the railgun? Trash. If you're gonna use the railgun, you may as well use the AMR because not only will it do better, has more ammo, and does everything that the railgun does without needing to charge, um, you will actually be more useful to your team way longer range too and no danger of killing yourself so yeah no oh there's a tank right here why why is there an annihilator tank right in my face what did i do to deserve this huh have, a real, have an orbital strike goodbye tank screwy you eh So yeah, look at this arc thrower right now. As long as you're using it in first person, you can target the character creature, sorry, that you want to stop the character. And 
then once you start stunning it, it'll it'll be unable to attack. So again, this is like a free stun grenade, and there you go, the Hulk was just taken out because it wasn't able to move, so my team was able to wipe it out. So the arc thrower is still pretty good. Um, and it can be very viable under the right circumstances. Yep, the other one's here. Dropship! Dropping package! Reloading! Uh, Captain McSwagger, a lot of people will quit before trying the change because they are freaking morons. But I myself also did not like the change, and I don't blame them for the way that they feel. To be honest, after trying it the first few times, I didn't like it. But having updated, like, tested more thoroughly, I feel that it has a purpose with the right team. So it stopped being like a meta weapon and became more like a, you can use this optionally. But it depends on the strength of your team and how good you are with it. Like, being able to charge it on the one second, like for example, if you fail to charge, okay, you have to, you kind of lose it, so at least there's a sound cue. So now you gotta be able to use the sound cue effectively to help yourself with that. I wouldn't say it's OP, but I would say that it does have some viability. Um, we'll have to see how it fares on Terminates, to be perfectly frank. I do not know how good or bad it's going to be. I'll wait till we actually have a major order against Terminates to test out. But against the Automatons, it's definitely useful. Like I said, you can see how far 35 meters is. It's not far at all. So... From this perspective, I would say it still has a long way to go, but look, you can basically stun lock a hull, so there's that, and it kind of works decently, so the Hulk cannot fight or approach your team, which uh, like I said can be pretty damn useful, so like that. Did a hell bomb ever go off? I think it did, eventually. So yeah, this is what this is what I would say uh, most of the time when it comes to this. Proceed to extraction when ready. My hair is itchy. Probably because I wear a cap so much. Okay, time to finish this last mission off. I mean, we're still making good time on an eight, um, so I can. Oh, mine's. So yeah, I can say that the arc door has a purpose at least. Yes, already tested Wolf. Uh, still two shots with the buffed AMR. You won't be able to one-shot a Hulk. So from that perspective, some people are arguing that the railgun is still better because it can one-shot a Hulk. I say, uh, no. <laughs> the AMR outperforms in almost every other situation, so my choice would be AMR, 100%. EMS still stuns, of course. Calling in extraction! Ooh, just in time. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Best primary for Devastators? Uh, use the Jar 5, Jamie. Jar 5 is good. Yeah, this nerf arc thrower because the stun is pretty good. LOL. Oh. I'm gonna pose you, yeah? <laughs> we just all pose you. <laughs> Giants. Oh, no bolt steering on us. No, yeah, shit. I think they're fighting back. Okay. Spicy. Hey, we got a tank over here. I'm gonna annihilate it. Dude, it hit the. Oh, it went through the dropship. Lol, double kill. That was a nice little double kill. What's the new primary meta? There's no meta. Like, you can use different primaries. There's a good bunch of choices, though. Jar 5 is pretty strong right now, especially because of its buff. 
I would say Jar 5 is a good option. But the Sickle still seems to be good. good. Um, class Scorcher. Class 1 Scorcher is definitely not leaving his throne. So there isn't really one meta at the moment. There's just a lot of decent choices, but the Jar 5 is definitely a, a good standout choice alongside Plaz 1, Scorcher, and the, um, <laughs> and the Sickle still seems to be strong. Oh, um, Auto Cannon, yeah, pretty much what Tex Matt says. You can take out Fabricators, you can take out... Ooh. I don't know. But yeah, you can take out Fabricators, you can take out a lot of stuff with that. Um, and especially drones. The aerial drones can be killed with the Auto Cannon, not with the AMR. So between the two, having tried out a lot of AMR runs, I still very much prefer... Let's go. I still very much prefer the, uh... Auto cannon. Slugger, not really. Um, I've seen it, I've tried it around er, a little bit earlier. Um, it felt a lot weaker, and I see no reason to use the Slugger versus the Jar 5. The Jar 5 is way, way better than the Slugger in almost every situation. I don't think it can, Wolf. And worse still, I don't think it'll be able to stagger because they removed a lot of its stagger. It felt very, very weak. I mean, maybe you can try it for yourself, but genuinely it felt very weak. So the Slugger is pretty much low tier. And it's because everybody was abusing it. And I kind of get why, but I have no idea what the rationale behind this nerf is. To me, it makes no sense. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But I see no reason for them to have nerfed the Slugger at all. While buffing the Jar 5, so yeah. I know, Captain Mechswagger, but it is how it is, so, you know, we roll with the, we roll with the punches. Six squad impact on Ubaneya. So remember, impact multiplier is the only thing that matters. Uh, to the incendiary, All not to the breaker. Breaker incendiary. To the super destroyer. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. I think Demon Time is watching the wrong stream. <laughs> He's commenting on my older stream. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. We have come to the end of the show. Uh, let's go take a review of everything. By the way, thanks, guys, for gaming Welcome with aboard, me. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. The Super Destroyer. See you later. Glade. But yeah. The Scythe could actually be decent. The uh, no. War waits for Scythe overheats ready, too quickly. Helldiver? And its damage is too low. That's the big problem. Otherwise, I would agree 100%. But yeah. Bro types a thousand words a minute? Eh, yeah, probably. Okay, so right now we've actually conquered about 50% of Ubanea. Um, if we actually check the Helldivers.io website, uh, let's have a look. See, Ubanea is going to succeed in about five hours. So after Ubanea has succeeded in the morning, we're probably going to strike a Tibet. So as soon as you clear, clear out... Uh... Oh, this is a Razor Huntsman keyboard. It's really nice. I, I love the way it sounds. The AC, can it take out gunships? Your, uh, the drones, yes. The dropships, no. The dropships, well, yes, actually, but the dropships require 10 shots to the engine to take out, which will be your entire mag for the autocannons, so you might want to be careful with that. But the gunships absolutely can be taken out with the autocannon. The, the, the gunships die so easily to the autocannon, whereas the AMR struggles with it. I, I dumped six bullets into the gunship, it didn't die, so it is a bit of a problem. <laughs> the Liberated Penetrator, I think, needs a buff, but um, I don't think they're going to give it one. Because the major issue with it is that you're practically dumping the whole mag to get a kill. So it wasn't really very good. Anyway, um, for the Super Earth Elite Forces under my command, we have 173,000 divers on Ubanea. Just make sure that you guys clear out Ubanea, then go hit Tibet. This will, this will be the current war plan, because we've already defended Malevolent Creek, and the defense has fully succeeded. 
it was the bare minimum to take out the Walker Titan. Uh, just now we hit it with three rail cannons. And then it finally died. Did we hit it with anything else? I don't remember. No, as far as I can recall. Yeah, I think it was just no, three, three rail cannons. Uh, cannon. Yeah, okay, so it was just three cannons then. That's fine. Um, yeah, so about three rail cannon strikes to take out the Walker Titan. So I recommend... Uh, you gotta have a rail cannon now for runs like that, just in case, because that thing will slaughter you. So, yeah. Although it didn't get a chance to fight with us, but from what I heard, it hurts a lot. Rocket pods should be good. Rocket pods should be good. Um, do actually check it out. I was gonna, t I tossed a rail cannon and then my rocket pod on it, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, it'll, well, it will probably eat more than a Ball Titan, because it's got way more hit points than a Ball Titan. I'm not sure. Its armor should be heavy as well, so. Well, anyway, that's my take on it. Damage needs to be buffed by 50%. Mm, might make it a bit overpowered, because if the damage was buffed by 50% on the Liberated Penetrator, it would literally be one of the best options in the game, so. And then they're just going to nerf it back down, so. But anyway, uh, based on Ubinea. Based on Ubinea's current liberation, it's going to succeed. Oh, four hours and four and a half hours. So, yeah, as soon as Ubinea is done, please tell everyone to go to Tibet. We need to conquer as much of Tibet as possible to weaken the automaton forces. If we do not liberate Tibet, uh, we're doomed. I'm just going to say it straight. We're fucking doomed. So, the last, the last day is going to be. I, I'm quite certain on this. The last day is definitely going to be a triple defense. It's going to be Malevolent Creek. Dropnir and Ubinea. My suggestion is that we take Malevolent Creek and then split for Dropnir and Ubinea. Should be, we should be able to do it. But we must take Creek first on the third day. Uh, hopefully it won't be that bad, but um, we'll see. But more or less, first things first, please grab Ubinea and then go on to Tibet. Try and weaken the automatons as much as we can. Purple laser rocket streams, probably the Illuminate. But they also do have the cloaked ships in the sky, so yeah. The game plan is sorted indeed. Just make sure that we get Ubinea first. We must get Ubinea no matter what. If we do not hold Ubinea by tomorrow, it's going to be a brutal, brutal situation. Just standing around the table. Standing around my war table? Yeah. I see. All right. Well, that about concludes it for the briefing. Ladies Ready and gents, for another mission, Helldiver. Super Earth Elite Forces. I'll see you guys on the battlefield in the morning. All right. I'm going to head off and shoot the video on the patch notes, give you guys my rundown over it, my thoughts on all of that. So I'll see you guys then. All right. Y'all keep trying the weapons out. Y'all keep trying to find the metal loadouts. But uh, I'm going to rescind one statement that I made during the stream. The metal loadouts for automatons haven't changed too much, and I'll be honest about that. Why? Because the Arc Thor still has a good niche. Although it may not be a super must pick, the stun lock is really good. And quite frankly, um, it can save your whole team if you're in the tanker role anyway, because quite frankly, you're just going to walk in, stun the hulks, and then nothing bad is going to happen to your team. So do abuse the Arc Thors right now. Alright, the range, nerf, sucks, donkey, goat. But the stun lock is beautiful. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Y'all stay sexy, and we will conquer more of the bot planets in the morning. See y'all then.